Go, 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 go. We're going, going, woo, we're going. We're doing it, we're going. All right, so last session, you guys tracked down the necromancer who had kidnapped Tara, um, dispersed his undead horde, and caught him, killed him, took his stuff, and we ended the session at you guys taking his stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Also, one of the last things, the, uh, the, um, let's see, about an hour has passed, you thoroughly checked the the house and him um, and an hour before that he did say uh, talk through the sending stone he was holding saying um, uh, need help at the house mm -hmm. or at the cabin mm -hmm. intruders at the cabin intruders at the cabin so what do you guys do now <clears throat> Well, we get the fuck out of there, right? Yeah, if we're done. If we're done investigating anything we need. I mean, we Because we found the pearl. Or mm. the, yeah, it was all it was yes, a, yes, the it was, pendant it was, he was, was wearing. Yep. So we have that. Um, which I guess technically we haven't leveled because we haven't rested, right? Correct. Okay. So we need to get... Oh, and a new thing I'm doing is until you rest, none of the other stuff is gained. Okay. So That's extra right. spell slots, uh, mm. class abilities that gained at that level, feats, none of that is in, uh, activates until the long rest is finished. Okay. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we get the fuck out of here, but we can't go too too far. Why not? Because we already traveled eight out, full hours today and already pushed to get here. Mm. So we need to be able to, we need to get just far enough before we start having a home for exhaustion and hopefully hidden to where they can't track us well we have the oh uh, ranger boy needs to do the hider um can he do something to hide our tracks away from this place yeah he wanted he make this terrain easier to travel well, that won't stop somebody from tracking us if he's got another spell no, but we can gain more distance instead of doing the pass without trace can you do that again? Because that should help. I can, do it. I can do it one more time, and after that, I'm tapped for the day. I can do it as well. Okay. Well, as long as somebody can do it, and we can at least get far enough away from this place, then maybe they, if they do come to investigate while we're resting, they can't capture us or attack us while resting. So... If we travel through I mean, here for an hour, I definitely think we need to get away from this place a good distance and more towards the northern side. Definitely not south or west. That's fine. We can yeah. start moving. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just keep moving. We'll just start. Um, so either north, northeast, or east. We can go north, which is where we know most of it is cleared out. Wherever, wherever our guides think it would be best to go to wherever you think is the safest direction take us take us there mm. northeast it shall be yep. you want to cast the pass without trace or uh yeah i can mm, vagil sap will, will take it okay. mm. you got your seal your legs on just had to say it Thanks. So we're trying heading northeast. Um, how far do we want to go before we start getting exhausted? Okay, so this only the, that spell only lasts one hour. I think we got. An, I think we have another hour before <clears throat> we start rolling because this it starts hitting every hour after eight hours of travel, something like that. Whatever Chris decided, but at least one more hour before we're like. Okay. Where we will start rolling and will accrue uh, exhaustions that we can't get rid of. Mm. I mean, yeah, you guys pretty much did do the full days to 
to yeah. get here. So I'll say, I mean, if you guys want to go on, it'll be well at the end of the spell. Yeah, the travel, spell will have to travel one full hour. Okay. Okay, not good. Stay there. And with uh, Vagil Sap uh, uh, and Rock Stomp leading you guys, um, you guys actually make it a, a bit further than... He, he finds trails and stuff, making the, the path a lot easier for you guys to go on. Um, so... Hey, I could do that. And... So you guys actually make it a little further than you normally would have. Nice. Um, as long as we can find a safe spot to rest. I believe the exhaustion check is a DC 10 con. Yeah. It would have kicked going after this point. Yeah. Then they, every hour after the first one, it goes up by one. Well, if we get this far, and can we find a safe location around here to rest? Or do we gotta keep moving? Um, that's gonna be up to you guys. Or what's or around us? The. I would assume this ranger guy would know better. The halfling. Yeah, I would ask him. Just, I mean, or no. he's he, the one who he, hunts he, in this he place. wasn't. He wasn't looking for a safe place. He was just trying to get you guys as far away as possible, while still under the guise of the Pass Without Trace. So. Are you guys looking for a space you know, now, now, or were you trying to go and look for one at the same time as the travel? Because that, that's going to be two different things. Once we do the full hour of travel. Yeah, once we stop, we'll look around. We'll look around here. What's up, bro? What is it, investigation? Um, it doesn't matter. Whatever you buy, we're going to freeze it, and then we'll unfreeze it. I'm not uh, sure what he wanted to do. Survival before we cook it. Find a safer. There's your call. Probably. Uh, survival for me is plus five. Okay, we'll do the one. Survival oh, or right. nature, knowing hidden no problem. You know, places. Oh, hey, don't forget the pan with that. Nature would, that would probably be you. One of y'all, too. Okay. <laughs> I am not no trained in nature, bro. but I can roll it. That's the only intelligent. It's the only check I have then. Let's I put my phone on silent now. You know I am nature. A, I'm a nature paladin, and I don't know nature. Yeah, my nature's a little bit. <clears throat> He's naughty by nature. Hello? All right, Chris, what you want us to roll to find? I'm um, sorry I was on the phone. What exactly are you guys doing? Going full hour what, with the spell, making as much distance as we can from the cabin, northeast. Then we, when that spell wears off, we're going to start looking for a safe area to rest. So, okay. Well, do you want us to roll to find that? Survival, nature, investigation. investigation. Um, survival. Okay. Definitely not me. I mean, that's three. But... Seventeen. That's a seventeen. Find one. Uh, seventeen. You you find a. Uh, you find actually like a little cave to to get into. Um, very a, a small one. Um, looks like a, some animals had been here previous, but um, on the survival check you got, I mean, they, they haven't been here in a while. Okay. Can we? Yeah. You I mean, I don't do think it. we're finding much better than a cave. I'll do, um, oh, if it's a cave, then I can just easily do alarm just mm -hmm. in two spots, or well, one spot, really. You'll probably cover, well, how big is the mouth of the cave? I mean, it's it's about 15 feet. Okay, cool. Then I'll only need to do one. Actually, what I'll do is I'll do, when we take um, rest, I'll do actually one that is, I'll do three. I can do one that's right at the entrance cave, and then two about 30 feet out from the cave. That way we'll get alarm. Um, we'll get an alarm uh, as they come in, and alarm when they get to the door. 
So I'll take 30 minutes. I'll go on first watch and 30 minutes of my first watch with whoever else is going to be with me. Did anybody have any inspiration? That's oh, I do. Do you have your coins? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait. I just, I just wanted to make sure I didn't see them and I, I didn't know if I had taken them and, and needed to give them back or anything. There you go. Oh, there's my coin. Okay. An inspiration chip. Because I know Gustavo had, I think he had two and he popped one last time. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I'll take first watch. Is anybody, any of the NPCs going to take first watch with me? Uh, Vagil Sap. Okay. I'll have, Va I'll ask Vagil Sap to watch over me while I put up the three alarms. One at the door and then two spread 30 feet out to where they'll, they won't overlap each other, but just enough to cover like door then alarm alarm. That way, if something approaches, it'll hit alarm first and hit alarm second. Uh, I, I, I can't do that. I can't help you with that. No, no. Watch, watch me. I can't. You I, have to, again. I, I can't help you with that. Why? I'm fucking with you. What the fuck? Well, halfling, don't fuck with me. <laughs> of course, I got you. I'm pull, tired. Pull, pull, pulls out his uh, his his spear. How big is his cape? It's about fifteen fifteen foot like it's a fifteen foot op circular opening. Uh, it goes it goes in about forty feet and then stops. That's pretty good size. Okay, well then I'll do that. I'll do the oh, outside sorry, ones you first. You a black one? No, it's cool. Or blue or green? No, I'm just trying to. Cape. I'm just trying to mark out uh, where the alarm would be. Okay. Yeah, like 100%. Hand, hand me the red one, please, because it, it doesn't... I can't barely even see that. Well. Hmm? I can barely even see that. With your eyes, like... Cause the, green, the green is, like, totally... I can see... I mean, I can follow the red line, but I have to, like, focus on it. Yeah, Cursory okay. grant, glance, completely invisible to me. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'll do the two outside ones first while he watches... Um, and then I'll do the one at the door at last, and then I'll go in and then watch from inside the cave. That's a cave. <clears throat> and then you put one on the entrance, and yeah. then I'll put one right here. Mm -hmm. uh, where exactly are you on the map right now? Fucking green. God damn it. <laughs> uh, well, we're at the cabin, so I guess we'd still be inside the cabin square. Yes, because we only travel an hour. We only travel an hour, so we'd be inside that cabin. How wide are you? 20 foot cubes, so 10 foot radius. So we can cover this, and then I'll do some here and here. 5, 10, 10. Okay, are you actually looking at the map? Oh, yeah. At any point? Yeah. Okay, these are things you. you definitely need to let me know. Oh, I'm always looking at that. I have that map at the ready, as we're always is we're going through things. If we're adventuring and we're going to a place that I know we've never been, I will be looking at that map because I have no ability to help people find shit in any other way. Uh, Are you going to remember? When you, when you pull the map yeah. out, you notice a little red dot appears on the map. Oh, uh, can I use my deduction to figure out if that's the cave that we missed and we were supposed to go to it because the guy really wants us to fucking do his little sneaky trap house thingies? You don't know. I, can I use my deduction as an investigator or something? I'll let you check. Sure. Okay. Use your money from class, you dumbass. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was insulted and my guy stopped. <laughs> but that would have been 11. <laughs> actually, wait. Can't, does, I will actually pull out my magnifying glass. Does the, does the map have great, like, greater detail as I zoom in on it? <laughs> The like experiment. does it get like like when I'm doing like zoom this? In, zoom does it actually in. zoom in and zoom out? Because that's a that would be fucking awesome. And high something or low? Oh, uh, high, always high. Because I'm fucking high. Uh, you pull the magnifying glass out and you start to look, and it just gives you a closer image. Oh. <laughs> You're about to be the best buy ever. Check this out, guys. Look, it's me. <laughs> Giving myself the finger. 
<laughs> suddenly turns into the Marauders oh map God. from Harry Potter. I fuck, I'll get the freaking eyes of the eagle, and I can, like, literally do God zoom in on the map. <laughs> oh. oh, that'd be the greatest magic I'd ever <laughs> No! Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm done doing my thing unless something pops up on that. And I have no idea what that dot is, I'm assuming. Not at the moment. Um, you think maybe, but it's really you have no real clear indication. Working theory is it's the cave that we have not gone to. And I will inform you of this when you wake up. You're second. I'm third. I'm always third. Oh, well then, never mind. I'll tell you in the morning. Yep. <laughs> All right. And you're second or fourth? He's always last. Okay. So, not telling any of the NPCs because they don't need to know. Yeah, I don't even think we knew about the other cave. We knew about the cave because that's where the they who had the siblings how many watches? Told us about four, right? Four watches. Who was on the fourth watch? It's always me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking new guy. <laughs> oh God! What am I rolling? <laughs> Um, just be inside the cave. Roll me a perception check. Oh. I, so it makes it past my, my, my path. Before, before we do any of that, anybody that I did the alarm with, there will be a, the letter A. For asshole. On, on the ground <laughs> near where I sit. assholes. <laughs> in, in this area. Yeah. Well, letter A near where I centered the alarm. That way... They might have an idea of where something can trigger it, okay. where it'll be at. Um, and it will, it'd be mental, so, so mental alarm. So it's past my, not loud. Past the 15. Um, <clears throat> that didn't go up any, right? Yeah, you're going to need to roll uh, this one. It'll go up on your, if you have it as your, uh, if you're proficient in it, it will go up after we finish our long list. Yo, my, oh, in, my insight... High as fuck. Because you have a passive inside of 17. Pretty fucking good. Passive perception of 15. Are they, now, are they now 18 and 16? Uh, no, no, no. The it, There's still 18. and It's 18 and 15. So which uh, so the inside? The inside's 18. 18. Yeah. Okay. That's why I was like, damn, my inside good as fuck. Uh, Did that's anybody a... else's go up? No. Inside or perception? My in, my perception yeah. still eighteen. Oh, okay. my my insight will actually go up to fifteen. Or yeah, passive insight will be fifteen. Okay, would you roll? That's a twenty-three. Twenty-three. You hear some rustling off in off in the distance. Something is being very clumsy and stepping on everything, making loud noises. Oh God, if it's <laughs> another one of those bitches. Um, you just like being haunted by those things, man. Can I do another roll? See if it's coming towards us or not. Oh, with that roll, you it's coming toward. Okay. Uh, high rate of speed, normal rate of speed. More uh, does it slowly. sound? Does it sound similar to the uh, cadaver collector? Like more of a heavy thumping, or does it is it lighter? It's it's quicker. Mm. It's quicker as in you're hearing more noise. But as far as like distance, I mean, maybe. But this thing is making more noise than the cl cadaver collector did. Would I have taken my full? Uh, yeah, because I would have had my full rest. No, not yet. No, nope. not on my last. It has to take the full eight hours. On my last watch. When last watch is done. Technically, you're still under arrest right now. You're not doing anything. As long as you don't do anything that exerts you, you're still technically in those eight hours of rest. Right. Um. How close does it sound? I guess. Rough distance. Mm, about eighty feet, maybe. Mm. 
maybe closer. And I'm going to... Is there any, like, tree cover in front of me? I'm assuming that probably is. <sighs> like, not immediate, but, like, off in the distance, yes. What's the distance? Like, 20 feet? Uh, about 30 feet. <sighs> Does your... There's, there's, there's kind of a uh, opening in front of this cave. Proficiency and a skill. Usually, uh, I'm assuming pee, pee. it's quite dark whenever Usually you're going pee. into the cave. I mean, then, nobody cast any spells or yeah. did a so, torch or anything, so I yeah. I got mods for being a and, but it, it would probably be a little closer to daylight now, right? Mm, starting to get there, yeah. So you should have kind of, athletics yeah. intimidation. Somewhat invisible outside. It's a like dim light right now. Okay. That's then a, I'll just that's back up probably about five feet or so into the cave. Mm-hmm. Kind of try to get the shadows of it and just wait a few moments. See if he gets any closer because your stuff's out pretty far, right? Yeah. 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 What is your awakening? It's a mental signal to everybody. Okay, but it's not an audible. Mm-mm. No, no, no. Wait, I thought the mental signal only went to you and not everybody. Because the audible one, that's for everybody. The mental one, I believe, is only for you. I don't know if that triggered. Mental alarm alerts you with a ping in your mind. Okay. Um, I'll do the mental. I guess I need to dispatch. I would do the mental for these two, and that's an audible. Okay. They get to the cave entrance. It will do a handbell that you can hear within 60 feet. Okay. For 10 seconds, which is actually going to be... <laughs> Hit the snooze on that alarm. That's a fantastic handbell. <laughs> what? No ring, 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 ring. I need a choice between percent? That's what I was, that's what I was wondering. Huh. Well, I guess it's something they may change in later books. I mean, regular mm. player's handbook doesn't give you that choice. Automatically get intimidation. Um, yeah, what was going on? <laughs> there was no question. I was waiting for your response to me stepping into the shadows. Oh, okay. I mean, you, step in, you step into the shadows. Are you trying to hide? Yeah, I'm more or less just, then just waiting to check. see. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Not bad, that's a 19. Okay. Um, after about a, about a minute, uh, I mean, you, you hear the, the rustling and it's getting louder, uh, but it's not, it's not approaching very fast. Uh, and eventually, about 60 feet off, um, you see something pretty big. Uh, bear-like kind of making its way towards. No one wrote anything to see what was the animal sitting in this cave. Which I guess you said that it was just a... That literally no one was here in a while. Yeah. That was with you and your yeah. survival. Oh god, the bear's coming into this hole. Oh, yeah. And I'm assuming it's still approaching. Yes. Yeah, I'd probably try to quietly go back, start to wake people up. It seems like a wake people up kind of situation. <laughs> okay. Who are you starting with? Um, I'll definitely start. Well, actually, you said it's 60 feet away. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's about to hit our the first zone, first alarm. Yeah. If you're running back, it's going to hit it as you run back. Yeah, I'll if probably it's, if it's start... Moving as fast as you're moving. Start with Gus, then go with Elves. Go down the line from there. Alright. Uh, Good choice, because I'll auto... Rockwind, yeah. you will hear a... Because it's only in my head, and then you'll hear me go, Oh! Fucking shit! <laughs> snooze! Turn that off! Snooze, snooze. Turn that off! <laughs> Yes, yes, that is my response in character. It's because I hate the morning. <laughs> you made yourself? I'm playing myself. Except for better deductive abilities. I guess whenever, I, whenever I looked at it, was it... Um, 
Undead. You don't know. It's too far away. Ooh, makes sense. Okay. Um. After I wake them up, did I did I wake them up? They have time. Yeah, you got two of them up. So then which two? It would be Gus, and then let's go with Torm. Who's Gus? I'm joking. <laughs> the bird. I forgot your name. <laughs> Doctor Claymore. Wow. That's it. Claymore. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Claymore or Clamor? <laughs> so, um, you say Torm? Yeah. Torm's uh, like he, he's in a trance. And you just kind of, what's up? Uh, ah, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it's alarm. That'd be about the time, right? <laughs> That's about the thing. Yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, alarm. Something's nearby. Uh, I'll turn it off. Turn it off. Turn grab, it off. Grab, grab, grab his yeah. bow and start start, for, uh, start moving up. <laughs> I should start getting up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Fair him. enough. Um... Coffee? <laughs> I, figured, I figured he would have woke up his sister. Still half asleep. <laughs> no, he just, alright. Falls to the wall. Uh, I guess since you're up, um, oh, when it makes right when I see him start walking forward, I turn around to you. Has your second alarm gone off yet? I mean, if it does, we'll see it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll, if, it, if it's going off, I'll look at it. Yep. <laughs> yep, it, yep. It's an alarm. Why do I have to make it so annoying? <laughs> and there it is. It's <laughs> right there. And you look okay, out and you see this. Oh, wonderful. Oh, oh it's so awesome. cute. I want to ride it. I mean, I don't blame you. Um. Torm is just at the entrance, got his bow. Not on that. At the ready. No. Then. Definitely, you don't think so? Definitely not on that. So I walk towards the entrance? Okay. No. Um, how, roughly how far away is it from me at this point? About 20 feet. Mm-hmm. Right here. Okay. Uh, at 20 feet, <laughs> could I see if it's on that or not? Actually, I'm not even gonna ask. It's, it's I, dim light. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna use my. Where's it? Where is it? Why did you ask it? But with a passive. I'm just gonna use eyes at the grave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you do not sense any dead. Awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm going to <laughs> pretend it's not here. <laughs> Have my weapons down. Look at it and just speak out. We mean you no harm. We're just here to have a rest. Because I'm assuming it is a beast. It is not. It's not a beast. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, can I cast speak with animals? <laughs> I, see, I was thinking it was going to be an animal that would... I mean, you can. Understand me. <laughs> um, if it's not understanding I, me. I'm going to have my shield in front of me, but have my spear down. So defensive, but not aggressive. Is it... And I will step in front of him. You know, I don't have armor, and this is going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, probably... mm -hmm. I mean, it's my still, job. Yeah. <laughs> this Fair is what enough. I do. Um, and do I know, can I, do I know what this is? I'm pretty sure this is very common mm -hmm. from where we came from. It's an owlbear. Uh, don't, don't, I don't know, I'm going to make this up. I don't know if it's going to be true or not, but I'm going to say don't do any sudden movements. Um, make yourself big. It's a T-Rex? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, this is a magical beast. Okay, so, does it? Well, I wouldn't know. Yeah, he just told you. I, well, no, I'm <laughs> with with my able to speak with animals and beasts. I would know if me speaking to it is working or not. A lot of times when you try to speak to them, it won't matter. <laughs> they're going to try to eat us anyway, or they're going to ignore us, or they're going to get mad at us. One or the other. But 
Then I look back. Trying to be non non can, uh, aggressive. To can, the w- w- it starts <laughs> looking it around be? and it starts to kind of slowly shift off to the side. Like, like moving right. Like going away. Yes. Okay. Nope. I'm just gonna stand there still. And by the way it's walking, you can all tell that it's it's injured. Oh, shit. Wait. Aw. And so, even though it's it's keeping its, oh, it's, it's head and eyes focused nope. on you guys, the way it's moving, you can tell it is it is injured. And... I still can speak with animals. Okay. Just, okay, like, can I talk to the damn thing before it walks away? <laughs> Go for it. All right. Um, we mean you no harm. We didn't know this was your house. Is there, by the looks of it, do you need any help? Can I persuade him? Tell it I'll heal it. Tell it I'll heal it. I, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna I'm heal it. I want it. I'll heal it first. <laughs> God damn it! I'm <laughs> jumping to the gun now. <laughs> Possible pain. My animal handling's better. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, can I persuade him into, you know, but the speech kind of... Would that even matter, though? And what? You're mine. Um... It kind of looks at you. And just, I'm a bird. I'm a bird. We're a kin. <laughs> it kind of so. looks at you and, like, cocks his head a little bit. And... Continues to slowly walk, limp away. All right. You just want to be left alone, I assume? I mean, we can heal that wound for you. Just... Yeah, yeah, that one. We'll, we'll close it up so that you can fend for yourself if that's what you want. We just need a couple hours to rest and the cave is all yours once we're done. I'll drop my shield at this point. <laughs> I want a pet. I want a pet. It just kind of like... Can I persuade him? It, go for it. Twenty-four. Most important, <laughs> most important role you'll ever make. It, uh, it just kind of <laughs> lowers itself. You, you can see it, it's lowering itself in a defensive manner like... It's it's kind of ready to pounce, no, I, but at the at the same time, it's it, it's it's being very cautious. I'll, I'll approach it ten feet. Right. I still have thirteen points to hit. I can I can drop. Down. Yeah, but like I'm talking to I it right still, now. Yeah, so I don't you, you just let me know. <laughs> yeah. I like I want to approach it. Like I don't even have look because I've got. No, no, no. If you don't want to get close, that's still got two first levels. Yeah. That I can use healing word with. We don't have to worry about spell slots if I do this, because I'll get them all back at the beginning of the long rest. Mm-hmm. It, um. All right, can I? I mean, so do I. Can I? Like. Oh, I'll... sure. But just in case. <laughs> I need to we touch have a real fight. He's better heal your. your is that slot. okay? And I'll, I'll approach even more. I'll approach even more. Like, to where I'm. Like, all right. Okay, you know, all right. Put my hand on it. Put my hand on the bird, close to the wound, not on the wound. Then cure wounds. Real quick, just it's gotta be a fucking touch spell. Go for it. <laughs> That's why I was like, I've got healing words. <laughs> yeah. Still stopped. I mean, I'm gonna fucking take a risk for this shit. Nine. You uh, you see, you you touch it, and you see like the. The wounds start to close up, and the 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 fur like just kind of gets back, and like some of the coloration returns back to it. Um, I mean, you're you're welcome to stay here. It, ma- it makes a feel a few like screeching noises. Mm-hmm. I can't do actual screeching yeah, no, noises, so you got it. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've heard. I've heard, I've heard what real owls sound like. I can't do that. No. You can go. <laughs> you can go yeah, I, don't, I don't think that's. Although, it's not as it, does it sound more like bear? Or sound more like owl? 
this did sell sounds more owl. Okay, yeah. Just I mean it's kinda of owl. It's face, doing a like, very low yeah. screech. Yeah, like as long as we can finish our rest, cave's all yours, man. You know, just Is the is the wound still bad? We gotta look out for each other out here. Make a dexterity saving throw. I feared. <laughs> So, uh, I it, knew it. It's, it's, it's about to give you a kiss. It's fine. <laughs> or actually, you could do an opposed athletics. Oh, that would work better, sir. Twenty-four. That's uh, a crit. <laughs> damn. <laughs> it. Uh, how much? Twenty-four. Uh, damn. Uh, it. It kind of. It kind of like shifts up a little bit, and it looks like it's going to like to to pounce on you, but it's a very slow mm -hmm. pounce, and you just kind of move out of the way, yeah. like very quickly. Yep, yep, yep. Like still yeah, not. Yep. I, and it, it I start, appreciate it starts, the tempo starts, starts, starts to move closer to you. Oh shit! Okay. Oh, uh, stand my ground. Five feet. Mm hmm That's fine. Three feet. <laughs> Two feet. Give me a kiss. <laughs> and it just starts kinda like to, to like rub its head against yeah, against against your body. Yeah, that's yeah, nice, missling nice, 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 nice. yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> sure. Can I start scratching his behind his ear or something? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. At and this distance, it's going to tell if it's a male you, or a female. When you, when, you, when you do that, that's when the... Yeah. Ooh. Sorry, it's, it's version of purring. Whenever that happens, I just kind of whisper to him. Because I figure we're probably side by side. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> I'm actually kind of... I'm kind of sad because I'm looking and I'm going... Oh, I want to do that. I mean, honestly, I thought the bird was going to become bird food. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well... Good to know he finally made a friend. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what we were. All right. <laughs> oh. God bless. Your passive perception is really high. Um, as you went to to heal the wound, you, like you're you're kind of hoping this thing wasn't gonna uh, attack you, so you didn't think about it right away. But like now that you know it's kind of warmed up to you, like it, it just immediately clicks in your mind that um the the wound it had was was a was a bite wound shit you okay well and it seems um like maybe the large dog drake mm. or a drake possibly are you relaying this no i'm assuming i just Realize this, so I'm like, yes, yeah. So, uh, can I check it for any other wounds? Well, uh, let's check it for voice. What sure, go ahead. Give me, give me a, give me a medicine check. Okay. Yeah, if it's got anything like that, okay. I can cure it in the morning. I can just do it. Okay. I just spend five and hit uh, hit um, dice or five points, and I can just cure any disease 12. or any poison. Twelve. Mm -hmm. oh, that works. Um. You notice something odd. Okay. The um, that there's a, a couple more bite wounds, um, but one of them, uh, it took a rather large chunk out of it. But the um, you you find a you find a a tooth, but the. The tooth has this weird hole in it. Oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> well, can I... What would it be to try to remove it without alerting or causing too much of a reaction out of her? About a hand? Hmm. I should probably do that as a medicine check. As in, yeah. You're, you're carefully doing a medical right. procedure. All right. So medicine check on the tooth. <clears throat> Try to pull it out without, but, but I will tell her, you know, because 
Am right. I in speak ear- with animals is what ten minutes, I believe. And am I in earshot yes. of this? Yeah. Um. If you think. Yeah. Because whenever you say something about pulling out the tooth, yeah, I probably speak up and go, "Hey, cleric here." <laughs> Hi, cleric. Get really, <laughs> really high medicine check, just in case. Okay. Well, uh, I'll also say. Combat doctor. I doubt it's gonna attack at this point, but Torm immediately looks over to you and goes, "Did you say combat doctor?" Yeah, Doctor Claymore. That's where he, why he's called Doctor. He is a combat medic. I could patch up is in the field. Is, is <laughs> Keep that, you going. <laughs> is there something wrong with that? I haven't seen one in a very long time. Combat medic? Wah-uh. I guess you don't go to... I've been in large battles very often. I've been here for three years. Yeah, before that. I'm sure you've had a fairly long life. Well, that would have been a... And the, the clan we were in, there were two. They died fairly early. When the enemy knows you have a combat doctor, they... Um, or a combat healer, they uh, they tend to take him out pretty quick. Well, see, that's where this one's different. He doesn't heal; he fixes. So he doesn't look like he's actually doing any good, but he really is. I'm while he punches steroids, <laughs> while, while he then punches things in the throat and kicks them in the nuts. <laughs> and that's that's all true statement. That's Need how he usually defends yep. people. More morphine. <laughs> Why am I not going into shock? <laughs> it's all this morphine. Adrenaline? Yep, got you right here. Here you go. Uh, yeah, this bunch of needles falls out of the back of the I want to explain to the bird that we want to try to help you. I, I notice that you still have a couple more wounds. Can I get my friends a little closer so we can assist you in healing completely and properly? I swear, we mean you no harm. It's... They're all friends. All right, I slowly do this. Like okay. I'll, I'll walk forward. I walk forward with no weapons or anything. Hands up, looking as in his birthday suit. <laughs> Close. <laughs> I <have> pants on. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll come near it. Uh, and I'll, did you find any disease or uh, poison? In I'll, this? I'll point at it, dude. If it's got a hole in it, I'm assuming it's a way of injecting the poison, so... Okay. I'll... I'll be careful, and I'll... I'm, 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 I fucking suck at medicine. Well, you medicine. could heal it for any poison. I have to know what it, 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 if it's actually there. Well, he, he's... Uh, if, if he's, he's going, I can... Do his medicine thing. I don't know what... Yeah. My medicine is three. Mine's plus three. eight. Mine's, yeah. mine's a two. Which is why I was like, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead and yeah. do your thing. I want to, okay. can I use animal handling to kind of keep it calm? Go for it. All right. <sighs> Definitely it's time to use animal handling for sure. Yeah, animal mm. handling. <laughs> As I'm talking to it, so. <sighs> Fuck, okay, that's still an 11. Okay. Oh, so, no. is it okay <laughs> if I roll... Animal, and then what are you trying to do? To remove the tooth. You're trying to remove the tooth, so roll me a medicine check. Okay. Woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> gonna bite your hand off. <laughs> Make sure lower than the others, but still a 16. Yeah, you you take it out, and it's like, uh, woo! Yeah, I know it hurts. Do we see the? Is there any sign of poison? Um. We're gonna look at it. As far as you can tell, roll me an investigation check. Oh, do you want me to do another medicine oh. check? <laughs> Handy. I see him pull out the. I'll pull it out. I just, I just take a step back at that point. God, thank God. Oh <laughs> yes! What a change of roles. Two to nineteen. Uh, that is a twenty. Since we haven't made a full rest yet, that would be a twenty-four on investigation. All right, with the magnifying glass, you, you you peer at it and you notice that through the hole are there's tiny little teeth 
around this tooth. And there's actually like a, um, almost like a vein-like structure that looks like it's used for, uh, for, for ingesting, like a, like a, like a straw, like a, like a, oh, sucking, not, not, like a mosquito's nose, needle yes. nose. Hmm. Interesting. It, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do real quick on that wound while I'm doing this. I'm actually going to put my hand to it and I'm going to, just in case, give up five points and I'm going to cure whatever disease might be there just in case because I don't think it's poison at this point. If it's for sucking, it's for the other way. But it yes, might, yeah, liquefy might the... have disease. So I'll give up five for the disease and then I'll give up another five to heal it for five to, to cinch up this wound itself. Okay. God damn, you're spending then, that point is pretty willy nilly. <laughs> hey, we are if we get an owl bear to I be know, our friend, at the end of it, <laughs> we got a running tank with us. <laughs> I mean, it might not stick around for long, but it's a fucking owl bear. So. I want to ride at least once. I don't care what happens after. <laughs> That's the achievement. A bird on a bird, motherfucker. That's the achievement. <laughs> and then. After that, now I've got something to look at. I'll completely start ignoring whatever the fuck is happening here and go back. And, exer- and examine the tooth. And start examining the tooth with, uh, I'll make little lights around myself. And I like to think I was like holding it up to the owlbear to see what I, didn't I realize. show what I did and you just grab it from my hand. <laughs> it. Okay, there we go. Right. Well, I would have looked at it first. <laughs> just while it's in my hand. Just... Yeah, very awkwardly. You want it? <laughs> Run away with his little yeah. toy. <laughs> knowledge, 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 knowledge. I haven't seen this in a while. <laughs> shiny thing, shiny thing, shiny thing. I didn't know, I didn't know. I do now. But I'll go back and then I'll also realize I'm tired. And then go to sleep. I'll go back to sleep. I'll put it and I'm like, all right. So for like three minutes of looking at it, I'll finally go, ah, oh, fuck this. Sleepy yeah. time. But So how you guys handle the hell there? Good. Yeah, the, so... How does the bird look now? Is it still kind of? Oh, it's it's a lot better now. It's, okay. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's still a little bloodied, but it's uh, it's definitely a lot livelier than it was. Okay. How much time has passed since I cut this bow? Because it's only ten minutes. I want to say five minutes, maybe. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm being generous with it, but okay. Uh, look. We kind of exhausted. We had a long day. Uh, we need to get our rest. You're welcome to rest here with us. Um, so it'll help you heal if you take your time. And I'll feed you something in the morning when we wake up. And then Ooh. if if you want to part ways, we can. Or you can come with. The choice is yours. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm going to go to bed and I'll start walking towards my bedroll. <laughs> Starts following you. I figured. <laughs> Let me know when it enters the cave. <laughs> it's in the cave. <laughs> and all of a sudden, everybody hears ah, 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 because it's not one of the things I picked. And I'll wake up, ah, no! Yeah, immediately, it's no. just like freaking out. Like, and I'll, I'll, I'll go, I'll turn it off real quick. Ah, <sighs> Okay. Uh, I'll go over there and I'll erase that alarm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cancel out my own alarm spell real quick. Because I, I think I can do that. One, yeah, once it freaks out, I'll try yeah. to. <laughs> Calm down. Do they not go away once they trigger? No, it's no it, stays, it stays there for eight hours. Mm-hmm. It stays there for eight hours. I thought it was eight hours Dur- or until trigger. Duration, eight hours. You cast a spell, you can designate creatures that won't set off alarm, and you also choose when the alarm is mental or audible. It stays for a full eight hours. Oh, wow. Dang, I did not know that. I thought yeah. they... That's why it's good. That's why I always do the full setup around this, because I don't have to worry about it anymore, and every time somebody tries to run in on us, it'll wake us up. So, yeah. I'll... I get, if I can, if you're going to allow me to purposely cancel out my own alarm spell... Yeah, you can cancel okay. out your own alarm. That's well. That's what I'll do, and I'll just be like, uh, "You better watch really well now, because <laughs> yeah. if not, that elbow will trigger that some bitch." <laughs> if I lift it up, <clears throat> the whole night. Yeah. Well, 
I'm assuming, yeah, the alarm kind of freaked it out. I was like, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. It's just an alarm. Let me another animal hammer and check. To, uh... <clears throat> oh, I that one up. <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> yeah, it starts, it's, it immediately starts, like, backing up out of the cave. It's, you can tell it's spooked. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, no, it's fine. It's, it's just a warning. If anything bad came in here while we were asleep, that it, it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt anybody. It just starts looking around. Can I do a persuasion on it? Try to persuade it to believe me that it's not a f- <laughs> it's not hurting him. Uh, I would like to like speak up at this moment, and I just want to do a calming. Ooh. And I'm like, sure. <laughs> just ooh, whatever I think would mimic the sound of a. Uh, of a owlbear mother being, you know, gentle to a cub. Please pull on that 20. Ah, fuck, it's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> it gets immediately... Mm. Yeah, immediately just starts backing up even, even more. Mm. Okay. I, I guess I could just... You're the one that can mimic sounds. I, yeah. I guess I could, uh... Throw my chance out there too. Do you want me to just do animal handling? I'm just gonna tell me what you're trying to do. Basically, the same thing as him, which is just calming it down. Because how so? Are you gonna no. like? Are you doing a who as well? Don't, no, don't. don't do that. I'm that's, not doing that's just a like, random. Okay, so like, 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 describe to me like what <laughs> you're trying to calm this thing down. While it's still freaking out, I'm just gonna <clears> say <throat> it's just an alarm for our safety. And now your safety, so that we get alerted whenever intruders are in, because mine should do the same with his speak to animals. Or actually, what it? No, it knows your intentions. It's not like that where you can actually oh, converse yeah. with no, it. No, I just, I can't hear them. Yeah, it can just understand your intentions, if it's an animal that would understand what you do. What does your specifically probably. say? Yeah, because mine's exactly, they understand the language I'm saying because it translates it to theirs, basically. But I can understand them. That's a description. I understand the meaning behind it. What I thought they, speak with them was they, you... I can understand what they're saying. I, under, I can understand what they mean. Like, like with the feel, Intent. how they feel, how they get intended all that shit, but I can't understand. Speak with animals? Yeah. Well, that's no, speak they with actually animals. talk with you. Yeah. I don't think he can talk because if not, then why would he be hooing? And then I don't understand what they're saying. <laughs> you gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration of the knowledge and awareness. Many beasts is limited by their intelligence, but at minimum, beasts can give you information about nearby locations, ah, and okay. including so whatever they can perceive understand. or have perceived within the past yeah. day. If it was a beast, mine yeah. is speech of beast and leaf. I can communicate with, though not understand, beasts and plants. And I have an advantage okay. on charisma checks to input this thing. This so, is not a beast, so. Well, him talking to it looked like it was working, so I'm just shooting my shot. Go for it. Um, basically saying the same thing to him and just. Go for it. I, Roll. Wait, what, what, what am I rolling? Animal handling. Animal handling. Animal handling. Roll that jawbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> it really did sound like one. Uh, that's a. Fourteen. It starts to calm, calm down, down a little bit. Okay. It's just kind of it, looking at you mostly, but looking at everybody else yeah, as I'll, well. But I, if I notice that it's starting to calm down, I'm. I'll mimic the hooing sound of that he did earlier when um, he started nistling to me. You know, okay. The, little, the purring sound, or considered purring for them. Well, all right, roll me a performance. performance yeah. This will kind of calm me down more. God, yes. Performance 17. Better than a 10. <laughs> Pretty damn good. <laughs> it uh, it immediately kind of like you see its eyes get big and it's just kind of it slowly starts to walk back towards you. All right. Well, 
Please don't freak it out anymore. It, it, it's, it's been through some shit. <laughs> While I'm laying down, already trying to go to sleep at this point, it wasn't my fault this time. <laughs> Should have remembered the alarm. Preoccupied with that tooth. Yeah. Suckers runs up to Rockwood. Ah! <laughs> it's meant to be. Just laying there getting disemboweled. I'm okay with this. <laughs> well, Any, I'm going to lay down and you know, attempt to sleep. It lay it lays down near you. Yeah, that's on top of you. No, near me, <laughs> like right next to you. Yeah. I will snuggle to it for one. <laughs> Works. I just kind of turn around and look at him. Look at how close the uh, three that were still sleeping are. Just kind of laugh to myself oh, there and for a rude awakening. They weren't sleeping. That alarm, oh, yeah, the everybody. alarm definitely. Yeah, they're probably freaking out a bit. I mean, th they wake up, but they see him laying down and they're like, and he's like, he's like, uh, everything's okay. And it's like, oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> just, I just tried to calm the owl bear while laying look, down. He didn't look, Ooh. he didn't look freaked out. And they just went back to sleep. <laughs> Because I've seen crazier shit. Alright. Uh, I just I'll finish off my rest. resume my watch. What a predicament we have here. A, a raptor, <laughs> elves, <laughs> king coo, an owl bear. Ladrin about. Yeah. And the whitest kid we know. <laughs> no, no, we know Josh. We know Josh. Oh yeah, he's definitely <laughs> You're right. You've at least got like that neck tan. Yeah, on. I've been outside. Yeah. <laughs> He's the kid that stays in doors all day, every day. Oh yeah. I've been outside. Playing his loot. <laughs> Wait, what did he have? What was was the loot? Was that what Josh had? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He sounds like a person. Is there anything loot. else you guys wanted to do? Sleep. Yeah, just finish off my rest. Uh, yeah. Also, have nothing else happen on my watch, if possible. <laughs> Can I see what sex this creature is while it's laying next to me? It's male. Okay. I'm gonna get fucked. <laughs> no, and the back parts are bare parts. Oh, God. All right. Although well, owlbears do lay eggs. <laughs> Wrong hole. <laughs> I'm gonna let it be. I, I will not wake up. I'll be like, this has happened before. It'll we'll have it again. It's happened before? <laughs> well, we've had many misadventures. Hey, look, they're using your style. What? Dog style? Oh. oh. <laughs> well, ah. well, well, yeah, sleep. Yeah, too. I'm, I'm asleep. He's still awake on his final watch, so. Everything else goes over smoothly. Okay, well, cool. And get up and go go. <laughs> gotcha. Do my morning go, go, go. rituals. Put on my armor. Okay. Set up my my spells and realize <gasps> I have three more spell slots now. Yep. Oh yeah, that <laughs> you didn't gain anything from the wizard, but now that you're taking the level of paladins. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, I have two second level spell slots with no second level spells. Nice. And four first level spell slots. And yeah. I'm going to change to Compel Duel. Anybody else changing anything up? No. I'm uh, I mean, I changed some of mine. Do you want me to go through my list? No, I mean, I'll just trust you when you tell me you have it. Okay. Yeah, he's... His character goes on. The, the only yeah. things that changed really was I put Inflict Wounds on, and then <clears throat> my third level shit is Spirit Guardians and Life Transference. Okay. Well, since I used so, both the spell yeah, slots I with the Owl last like, night, I couldn't cast fun. Goodberry, so I'll wake up and do the Goodberry spell. Oh. Oh, God. Feed everybody! How many, How many do, do you have? give us, by the way? It's only one now, because I can only do ten. Seven. Well, so seven, did you uh, cast that when you woke up, or...? Yes, right now when I woke up, because I used both spell slots last night. 
to one cast animal. <laughs> okay. And then the other one to heal, so I was like, I can't do berries. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, but there will be eight creatures here if you give the owlbear one, too. Yeah. Yeah, all I can do is ten, so yeah. I'll have to do that. <laughs> Enough to keep, wait, or get somebody up if, if we need to. Someone goes down. <laughs> I have 51 hit points now. Nice. I've got 41. It feels weird to have the DM screen so wide open, but at the same time, it's great because there's so much room. So much more room for activities. Anyways, but yeah. Nope. Morning, I'll give one to the owl bear. <laughs> It'll just kind of lick it off your hand. Yeah. Should keep you good and fed all day. Technically. Hey. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I will, um, sh after we get all ready, um, I'll show this red dot on here. Can I have one of those for Rockstop? Yeah, I give one to everybody. Oh, to the the Reptar. Yeah, I counted. That was so part of the end. Yeah, that was yeah. The Reptar. Just making sure. <laughs> the lizard oh, yeah. rides. The raptor. raptor. <laughs> but no, that's why I was like Reptar. Yeah. <laughs> the Raptor dog. Reptar. <laughs> I've been watching Rugrats. <laughs> uh. On the map, and I'll pull out the map and show it to you two, and the other people can look if they want to. Say, so there's a red dot that appeared in one of the, or nearby. Hmm. Um, well, well, you guys have a map? Yes. We found a map in one of the caves. Is that the direction yeah, that just came from them? Yeah, he's Dora. Mm -hmm. no, oh, this <laughs> fucking map talks to me. I am burning it. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. It says, he's got the map! Oh. Burn this to the ground. <laughs> Swiper, no swiping. Uh, this is not what I signed up for. I'm uh, not Dora Explorer. This thing. I'm Sherlock the Investigator. I don't explore, investigate. That's getting by the map. Talking to me. Stomper comes up and grabs it. Stomper, no swiping. What? It's the Raptor. It's the Raptor's name. Oh, I thought it was. Stomp lock or something like that. Rock stomper. Rock stomper. Okay. Got it. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> so we have that red dot, which it might be the... Can cave. we ask the elves, since they're looking at it, like, do yeah. you guys recognize this dot or know of any location that is near this dot? This of is course, the first time we've ever seen a map here. Yeah, of course, if they look at the terrain... All they, they literally see a big white blob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, yeah, it's almost kind of like a, a, a white fog of war that mm. slowly kind of yeah. reveals itself as you travel. By the way, had it moved uh, since last night that he seen it? The dot? That he realized that it was there? Has the dot moved at all? Okay. So it's a location. I thought it was like an enemy. Like, yeah, oh. that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think it might be the case. But we were both asleep. Mm -hmm. I want to ask the elves if they've seen uh, or were even looking at any point for any of the tracks that they've left around. See if wow. the illusion's still here or not. We were so worried about just quickly getting away. We we, we weren't really paying attention. Yeah, that's fine. Well, does the forest still look off to you guys? Mm. I'll walk out into the front of the cave and just looking around and see. A little bit. But there's still some sort of magic. I was really hoping that the illusion would be off. What well, did we do with the house? Did we burn it? I mean, in your shit, we left it. I thought we burned it. You wanted to burn it? Oh, I didn't. Because it was covered in that mucus shit. Wow. Also, I don't think you actually had anything to to actually start a fire. Do not it. that not that big no. Well <clears throat> so we do we wanna go ahead and head back to the the village or do we wanna take the time to investigate it? I don't wanna pull the rest of them in this if they don't want to be in it. Of course they're more than welcome and if we all wanna go back together then you know traveling in numbers is safer. So what do you guys want, want to do? Because really, either way, we can go back to the village or we can go investigate that dot. That dot is, if it appeared to us, it might be a clue. 
Well, if it's if it's one of those caves, then I, they said that you know we have to, whoever has hold the pendant. Uh, I, I still have. You have the pendant. I was like, yeah. well, they said that came from it, but that might not be the only thing that was in there. Maybe investigating to see if a cleared cave or whatever might have more resets. This is true. Last time we did clear a cave, a cave was on the map. How did they ever know um, at the village that we were at that the dude had the pearl of power? They seen him use it. I thought the first time that the elves have ever seen him was whenever Terry got kidnapped. I don't, I don't know. Actually, I actually have no idea. I did, I, great question, Torm and Terra. How did you know that he had the pearl of power that the uh, the village necromancy was looking for? Well, not necessarily that. I think didn't the village necromancer know? Because he just pointed us in a direction. He knows of the item that was nearby, yeah. and he knew what it was looking for, but he didn't know who had it or where it was. Honestly, we didn't know. Crickbone was the one that told us. So he yeah. did know. Yeah. But my question is how? Doesn't that seem strange to y'all? Because as far as I'm aware from how I've seen it at the very least, he's more of a homebody, as you would say. We honestly never thought to ask him. Do we want to give them the pearls so they can deliver it? <clears throat> or we just go look for them? I would hold off. I'm kind of wondering how he knows. Like, I'm not thinking ill intentions of him. Well, thing, but, but we like, did it agree. It is weird. But we did agree that we weren't going to be keeping this. Yeah. Yeah. That we were, were going to give it to the elves so they can take it back to him. Yeah. I mean, it was an agreement. And it's just a pearl of power. All it does is restore a spell power. power. Yeah. I mean, yes, we could use it, but it's not ours. This is different from the ones you've seen before. Well. And Crick Bone's also a lot. <laughs> Crick... Investigation <laughs> on, man. You've, you've never seen a black one before. Crick Bone's also not uh, the only one that wants I it. Would... No, the little. Ranger wants it as well. Why does the ranger? The want ranger it? doesn't want it. Yeah, yeah, he does. Smithy wants it. Oh yeah, the Smithy wants it. Oh well. okay. I would like to investigate this further. Can can I see this, please? It's starting to get a little weird how so many people know about this one. Yeah, the ranger was looking for it as well. For the Smithy. For the Smithy. No, so he was sent down here to find. Yeah. It. Same village Smith? No, no. no. He, I don't Different. think he was sent no, down. He, he I think yeah, somewhere under toe. Yeah. I think he was. Um, he just knew that the smithy was looking for it and wanted it. I don't think he was actually sent to find it. You know, can I investigate it now? Uh, uh, check it for any markings. Yeah, that's a 20, well now like 25. Noise. On investigation. Noise. Um, While this whole thing is going on, I'm still petting the owl. <laughs> yeah, it's stuck around. It's a, uh, you're, you're, you're looking over and into it and uh like it, it is pearlish but with the magnifying glass you can see like a little like into it further and you notice that there's a uh a, a weird symbol on it oh shit okay make a uh, arcana check 17 uh, deep, oh, deep in it, uh, you notice the uh, arcane symbol for death. Death? As in removal of life death? Or as in I'm a soul stone and I suck in a soul death? Don't know where to find out, wizard. Well, all right. I would like to hold this item for 15 minutes of my investigation. Will that give up its powers? You mean one hour? It's a for an attunement. No, no. I'm not attuning to it. Oh. For an hour. Uh, you can hold an item to understand what it does without having to cast the identify spell. For a short rest. Yeah. 
So I can do that and we can look at it while we discuss or get prepared because we got enough time that doesn't really mess with us. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, and it's not a pearl, <laughs> is it a pearl that I can use to identify that? <laughs> Using the pearl? <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to use it to identify Are itself. we okay with this while I take the time to figure this thing yes. out? As this is going on, I still want to. Yeah, I mean, we're still just... I want to kind of figure out back, no. if I can... Yeah. If the owl bear can discern or tell me what attacked it and, and what direction it came when it attacked, was attacked. Start drawing creatures. Pretty much. Walk on the ground. Go ahead. Uh, it looks confused by what you're saying. Yeah, it doesn't understand what I'm saying right now. You could literally do what it says, like, draw an outline of... The, um... Whatever everybody else is doing, I'll tell you at the end of the hour. Will it... If I did the ritual for detect magic... Will that affect how long it takes me to... No. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll do that too. That way I can <laughs> see the auras inside the, the, the thing. I will take 10 minutes to ritually cast Speak With Animals. Okay. And then I will ask it the same questions. What attacked you? Still looks confused. Okay. How did you get those wounds? The the fang that Blue. was pulled. Okay. The fang that, it, that was attached to your leg. Do you, know, do you know what creature did it? No, it's not Spartan. It's not a. This is not Something a. Bit you? Uh, I, I, I know it bit you. Oh. Purple path on. So, in other words. From what direction did you come? Something we want from. Give someone. Hmm? Like, Without. was it the uh, river? The no, river? A did, you, did you get attacked by the river? No, I'm, I'm still investigating. Water. <laughs> now, if I can figure out what the I'll actual powers are of it, using the identify spell. Yeah. Grab it's and water. Because <laughs> yeah. it could just bolster. By the water, is that where you were attacked? Dead, or it could actually do whatever. Do I understand any of this shit? I'm no. just afraid okay. it's like a soul stone. Just capture mm. someone's soul. Kind of to be a touch the, the wound. If it's a, a little soul stone, I'm breaking. I figured you would, so I'm not going to tell you that when I find out. <laughs> Any way? No. Oh, Ken? I, do you have family here? Anybody? And I start pointing at them. Friends? Any, out there? No. Damn it. <laughs> it doesn't understand. Me. I'm just watching the charades at this point. <laughs> Alright, well. Do you want to come with us then? Come with us. It moves closer to you. Yeah, I figured. Okay. <laughs> Stupid Bart. <laughs> hey, now you have a pocket tank, so. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, all right. I'll. I don't know. I'll start in just looking it over, making sure that there's nothing else wrong with it. Trying to make sure its, it's claws are still intact, I guess, and making sure it's fine. No, taking too big. It it's an owlbear. Big. <laughs> Sounds like a grizzly bear. It's, yeah, it's large. Yeah. I am so four just and a half. <laughs> oh yeah, you're tiny next to it. It's the size of a full-grown grizzly. Bear. I, I half size monster. I mean, I know what that is, but I just I'm eight feet. Eight feet tall. Yeah, if it stands on its hind legs, I think it's eight feet. Yeah, that's taller than that. No, nah, eight feet sounds about right for a grizzly bear. For an owl bear, I'm not sure. I, I thought that they were a little larger than about that big. Okay, so roughly while it's standing on all fours, what would you say, like seven feet tall? Mm. Eight feet? No, I'm probably about six feet tall. Still the tallest in the group. That's all. <laughs> so the top of his shoulders probably about six feet tall. Five to six feet. In there. Yeah, but it's it's a large creature. It'll take up a full ten foot area. space, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's wide too. So it's I was not, about to say it's not, it's not just like a horse that takes. Up I mean, just think, think of like a, a grown grizzly bear. That's how big it is. 
just looks like it has some out parts. Yeah. Mainly what it's facing. Does it have wings? Mm-hmm. No. It's feathers down its That's right. side. And feathers down its back. It's but it's sexy man right there. Alright, well if nothing else is going on, after the hour, we got to figure out what this thing can actually do. Once per day, um, you can cast the spell... Um, ooh, I believe it's... Wait, no, it's not. It's, uh, animate dead. Okay, let's talk about that. So yeah, once per day, you can cast the spell animate dead. So it's not while using this. So it's not okay. Thank God it's not a soul spell. <laughs> that is interesting. That's why Crickbone would want. So it's definitely something good to give to him. Yeah, I I don't, I'll, I don't know. I'll I'll relay my findings in. In detail of what it could be, and then I'll say, "Yeah, this is totally fine to give to Crickbone. It's I definitely something he'll use." Still want to know how he knew about it, though. We can ask him when he get back. Should stop. Or unless we want to go back. Well, so that's the next question. Whenever we do go back, that's a war out there. I know, but that's what it fucking looks like. <laughs> that was bred for actual mounted combat. Yeah. yeah. That's silly looking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> head is flat. I was about to say, like, I've, I've nah, seen them. It's I've like one, one that just got hit with a Warhammer in the <laughs> face. In <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3, that's one of the enemies you can fight pretty early on. Yes. And it that's will same thing. end your whole run if you walk straight there, because I did that. Yeah. Got fucked up real quick. Yeah. Now bears will fuck you up. That's why whenever you said that, I was like, yeah, I'm going to just step back and hope to God it doesn't engage me. <laughs> All right, so everybody who is still here, do we? Do you wish to move on to the city? Should we run back or shall we investigate this red blip on the thing and see if we can find... The cave. Well, I might have some news. Not D and D related. Uh, Chris, not uh, Chris. Jamie, I was talking by. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I am. I seriously want to go see what the dot is. I do too. Because if it gets closest to Did our you? destination, I want to go see what it does. And if it gives us more clues or something else that we can use in this realm. Why not? Yeah, and we did just get. Didn't you tell the people reinforced. without souls aren't allowed here? Yes, I did, but I figured you know. Yeah, my half be... a soul will be better than no soul at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's probably got some souls. I mean, they're not his, but he's probably got some by now. He's got enough freckles. Uh, I believe that's yeah. what it is. <laughs> no ginger allowed in this shop. <laughs> a freckle per soul, man. <laughs> no gingers at all allowed in this shop. Not a lot of freckles. How many souls have I taken? Yeah, your own don't count, man. <laughs> because you're just into a bowl. <laughs> you kill your kids, so that's like... <laughs> and a bowl? Yes, the toilet bowl. It's a very white thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, I've never done that. You know? I mean... <laughs> maybe, when I was younger, I had nothing else to do. Let's yeah, be sure. real here. He is obviously more privileged than you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he does it into the big bowl. <laughs> you do it into women. <sighs> Anyways, continue to <laughs> try to take that. Um, You're the more privileged white man than me. But yet I don't get to do it into women? I'm not sure. <laughs> no, no, your nerdiest excludes you from that. Oh, so... Okay. Anyway. Yeah. So elves, what are y'all doing? <laughs> Yeah. Elves, Torm and Terra, and then the halfling if he wants to follow. We we've definitely had enough of adventuring. We're we're ready to go back and Cowards. to Rock of Op and just uh, <laughs> chill for a few days. Okay. Terra's kind of tormented. Just <laughs> uh, well, I'll hear. I am not. Then. Yes, you are. Mm. Face man. <laughs> 
she, 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 she does shrivel her a little bit. <laughs> she killed me. Uh, You're, yeah, still. Tormented. Tortured. It's gonna leave some scars. <laughs> so. I mean... It's gonna leave more than scars on him. Two still, eyes. Male. Female. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. Two eyes. <laughs> well, we are um, mentally more prepared. <laughs> Vagisil? Um, I keep forgetting his name. <laughs> I don't even forget Vagisil, man. Vagisaf. 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 Do you wish to join us, or do you, would you uh, like to move on? I kind of got some, some things I need to uh, go and check out. Okay. Um, I plan on going a little further south today. Okay. I don't recommend you go. Sure. Not scary at all. The deeper you go into the forest, the scarier and bigger things get. Cool. Oh, that owl bear bigger than him? Oh yeah. Much bigger. Uh, so a lot bigger actually. By the looks of it, we might be traveling in the same direction. Do you mind if we tag along until we get to our destination? We part ways. Oh, well, he's going directly south. Because we're going I mean, south, we'll go west. southwest. Yeah, sure, I don't mind. All right. Well, at least until we get to where we separate, yeah. at least. Can we go in with him? It would probably be quicker. So, for us. are you going to be using that pearl? No, I was, I, I'll, after we decide this and everybody's going to go, I'll pull the hand the pearl said, Give that to Crickbone. So he's giving it to the elves. I'm giving it to the elves. Appreciate that. Yeah, not to have. Fuck. Because we know who Crickbone is. I don't know who that blacksmith is. That blacksmith is. Oh, his name's Bolo. That oh. doesn't help us at all. <laughs> Bolo. Cool. No. I know his name no. now. But it's gonna be. It's <laughs> gonna be he'll, used. He'll like you guys. Well, we might like him too someday. But this can be used in defense of that town. Yeah, the and town has been really helpful. To us, in many ways, so we like to I'm return to play. <laughs> Is that town, village, town, big or small? Small. Why are you giving it information that it is not? They, they could attack it if it's small. They mm, could. No, they'll. If they're big, they'll be attacked. By who? You haven't been here very long, have you? No. Oh, you? about. Five days, six days now, seven days. No, we've been here a week. Mm-hmm. I think it's been like, like two it. weeks. So. No, not two weeks. It hasn't been that long. It's been well, when you, when I was at the at Undertow, they they purposely keep their numbers small and hidden. They you'll never see all the. All of that, the village out at one time. Does the greater the numbers create greater risk? From where? Uh, I'd imagine the undead. There's a castle in the west. Oh, we heard of it. Close to the river. We heard of it. When they said that when villages get big enough, they go and they take people. Are you a spy? No. So, a spy? How are you perfect to this information <clears throat> that you said you heard? I'm assuming personally or rumors? People at Undertow told me because I asked them why the dwarves and gnomes rarely ever came out. Mm. So they want to keep the villages small so that they don't retaliate against the castle, I'm assuming. Oh, so people don't get taken. There were people they had, there were people get taken. Mm-hmm. Well, they call the herd. Okay, that's useful information. But yeah, it's a small one, so it's still kind of. Which also means that it's all radar. completely done by sight. So wherever it is, it's looking around by sight, not by mag- other magical means. Mm-hmm. Whereas they probably know how many people are in that undertow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because magically they'll know they're all hiding underground. Okay. That's, that's probably what the ravens do. True. You're an interesting lot. We yeah, they're good, lot. yeah. My mom's other thing's called them. <laughs> yeah. That's that's normal. 
ish. You know, I think that's nicer than what most people say. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, you guys seem to put a lot of thought into things, more than most. Um, investigate a team. Yes, we were detectives, and well, I want to say previous detectives. I I know what those are. Yes, I'm. I'm Detective Rockland Donholm. This is my traveling companion, Doctor Claymore. If you've already heard that, you're gonna hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we introduced ourselves already. Right? <laughs> Claymore? I thought you said clamor. It is clamor. It's both. He he does that. I would never do that on purpose. Lie? That was definitely a lie, yes. Deception. Okay. Deception. It's part of our trade as well. <laughs> strange. So strange. It annoys him. So, let's uh, continue on. <laughs> if we're we're all ready to move all out in part ways. And, uh, good owlbear, would you like to join us? I'll literally look at it and just say that <laughs> as normal as possible to the owlbear. <laughs> if it's still around. Ooh. I'll take that as a yes. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we'll start heading south. I'll That's grab out the map point. and go, I think it's... Just continues following. <laughs> yeah. okay. Which, at this point, I should be able to tell what which way is north, south, and all that. So now I've got my bearings in this place. So I can... I can literally look at the map and direct us in every what direction we, we need to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been here a week. We should know our, have our bearings by now. Yeah. I mean, you had your bearings the moment you uh, went to Rockabop. Hmm. Well, now well, he did. Now they're tried and true. I can trust them. I didn't believe it. <laughs> he didn't believe the time cycled either. <laughs> yeah, that's so fucks with me. <laughs> Same. Yeah, it, it definitely takes some getting used to. That's that's for sure. So, um, well, thank you, uh, Brockman, Doctor Climber, Magdus. Uh, we'll return to Rockabop and wait for your return. Yep. yep. Hopefully, in one piece. Thanks for saving me, guys. We can never leave somebody. She runs up and hugs all three of you. Definitely. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Um, Word. <laughs> thank you. And I'll put I'll push up because immediately let's go and go to the next person. Like, okay. <laughs> you said it twice. You said it twice. No, no, I'm not. I'm just weird physical. Like, no. He can't be sanitized. He's allergic. <laughs> Ask for permission first. You can ask for permission. Yeah, yeah. double okay. standards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, please don't hug the owl bear. I don't think it's gotten. Oh, she wasn't going to. <laughs> okay. Didn't even try. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> I know he's acting friendly now, but he's still a wild animal. <laughs> no, it's mainly just you three. Okay. Well, oh, I'm whenever ready. she hugs me, I'm just like, tell the kobolds my stories. <laughs> Water champion okay. shall return. <laughs> yeah. So let's move on. Her yeah. <laughs> we'll move on with the that ragavap. Mm -hmm. Yep, did I get it right this time? Vagisap. Vagisap. There Badge it is. Seal. Who has the stone? The Which stone? brother would. The male elf. The stone you took off of, uh... The sending stone? Yes. I do. Send up bag of holding. Okay. I can't hear if it's talking to me. <laughs> the bag of holding. Actually, nothing would hear. There would be no reception on it. I was just wondering where it was. Yeah, it's in the bag of holding. Yeah, and I know it's a sending stone. Yeah. Different dimension. Bag of holding. <laughs> and... All right, you guys are off. Um, mm -hmm. About three hours into the travel, um, and uh, Vagisap will uh, 
tell you guys, he's ready to part ways. ways, guys. You um go where you're going. Yep, and I'm going to show head in the other I'm direction. I'm going to go that way. Mm-hmm. All right, well, you take care, and if we meet again, don't be a stranger. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You said he was like a kind of like traveling trader esque type person, right? What? No, he's a oh, I that's what he did. He tried yeah, but I, I thought he went like traded goods and shit as well. Furs and stuff. Mm-hmm. He's a trapper or hunter. Couldn't have the mobile yeah. saw blade. Mm. Was yeah. there was there something you needed? He went on to buy yeah, some I was shit. gonna see. Cause no idea whenever we're gonna get there, but. Um, cause where did he say? North. Undercoat? So, yeah, so it's past our little village. Yes, yes it's just closer to the mountains. Northwest of... Uh, um, Do Rocky they Road. have, since they have dwarves and people there? They have iron, they have scrap. Any way of turning iron, silver, stuff like that into dust? Uh, I mean, I don't imagine so. Bolo does a... Uh, Various number of things. <clears throat> Is that the name well, of the dwarf that wanted the stone? Bolo? Then I'd be willing to make trades for that if you were able to get your hands on a good pouch of iron and silver. Uh, if, uh, the next time I head up that way, I'll uh, keep that in mind. Sounds good. And then I figure. If we gave you directions, you'd probably be able to find the village. Where? Where is it? I give him exact. <laughs> I, actually, when he says where is it, I want to do a quick insight check on him to see if how excited he is, he is to understand the location. The location. Mm-hmm. It's a twelve. See, I trust them. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, normal I'm, amount of excitement. That's your problem, man. You do trust me. Well, I have a passive of eighteen too, so yeah. Yeah. he's he's not excited, but he's not not excited. Insight, passive insight. All right. Yeah, damn. I yeah. will. I'll I'll give him the exact locations and details of it. You know, going from the river and to this, and mm-hmm. in a day's travel, and where my keen mind will allow me to. To tell him. When you say about how many people are there? Uh, yeah. well, less than 200. Why do you ask? Just curiosity? Mm. I'm just asking in a calm tone. I'm not like. I don't go where thing. there are a lot of people. Makes because sense. I don't want to be a part of getting taken. No, that's understandable. But there shouldn't be enough people there for that. It's a fairly small community. Roughly. How many would you say? Would it's a did they farm. say? Yeah. I mean, at Undertow, they only ever have about less than fifty people out at a time. Oh shit! Well, this place definitely doesn't have that. How often do people once they hit a certain amount? How often do they actually do the taking? Mm, that I don't know. They probably take down. I just remember I thought it was flies. weird that the dwarves and gnomes never came out considering they were a good majority of the uh, people there. But when I when I asked why, <clears throat> they said if, uh, if too many people were shown, then the riders would show up. Did they get attacked by undead and stuff as well? Uh, no. They they get attacked by the, the Dragonborn. Oh. Dragonborn? Yeah. Multiple Dragonborn? I mean, they said that there's one Dragonborn, uh, 
black scales. Uh, there's another dragonborn blue scales. And then uh, the rest vary different type of humanoids, but they all have uh, they all have a arcane claw sigil on their neck. That's how you know that they're with them. And if any of them ever stop by, then you shouldn't mess with them. Shouldn't mess as in, like, shouldn't engage them, or... Any. Okay. Don't talk to them. So don't give them any trouble, pretty much. They're like the police of this realm, I'm assuming. They work for the castle. Okay, well, that's good and full information. Um, hope your troubles go well. Yeah, I'm really trying to get a layout of this land. It's are you so creating, different from mine. Are you creating your own map? As you travel, or are you just memorizing the locations as you gotcha? Well, if we ever meet again, we're gonna have to exchange notes. Well, if you guys ever see any of uh, these marks over here, you go, and you'll see rock stop, run up to a tree, and Claw start it. clawing it. Mm -hmm. You ever see that? The, that's me. Okay, it's good to know. Well, if there is anything we can assist you with before we part ways, if not, no. Uh, you guys don't even have any water, do you? Well, well. Luckily, luckily for you, you are traveling <laughs> with the water champion. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you, you hooked me up with food, but water, you know, I don't like to go up to the river that often. Don't you have to cross it? Yeah, I don't like to. Oh. That is our reason why. Are there monsters in the river? Yes. Are there leeches? Not that I've seen. Do you still have that claw? Tooth? With the hole Although, in it? Spe yeah. speaking of leech, there there is a monster that uh, that has a tail, has a mouth on it that will try and sneak up on swimmers and pull them down. Okay. From the teeth. Do you know what this belongs to? Tooth that's stuck in the armor. Mm. As a trapper and a hunter, I would assume you've seen creatures. Do you know if any that would have these kind of... I think he's been a lot farther down the boat. Yeah. Say, um, while this is going on, I'm totally like over rocky stuff and just giving him water. I like the raptor. <laughs> so, it's one of the a thirster tooth. A thirster tooth? Yeah. You know, good. Do they suck blood? They're they're like zombies, but instead oh. of eating, they they bite and they drink the blood of of whatever they're hunting. So they're undead. So probably a good thing you did the disease thing. They they are, but they're they're a little smarter, and more resilient than your normal ones. Do you know where they usually reside? Uh, southwest of here. Oh, great. Hmm. We're going to a thirster camp. Well, all right. Well, I mean, they... it depends on how far south you're going. We might travel as, clo them. as close as that dot is on this map. In, in, from where we are, I don't think you will see them. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Well, <clears throat> I guess we'll part ways and see you later then. Bye. Yeah, we will. Take care, guys. <laughs> we'll yeah, I get a lot of <laughs> Thanks. Much we'll appreciate avoid it. the uh, cabin there. Hmm? We'll avoid the cabin area. Okay. Go around. No problem. It's pit's time up. All right, we'll start heading towards the red dot then. Um, at this point, I guess I will. 
Me wow. rummaging through my bag of holding. Making sure I still got all my inventory checking. Okay. And like, hey. Stone. <laughs> Sending stone. I'll grab it, I guess. Yeah, you, you can investigate it or do whatever the hell to see if maybe we know where the other stone might be located. Is that a thing we can do? I don't know no. if we can. No. So. Maybe. Unless we have. Do you want to send a message? No. No, we don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we got wiretaps right now. We don't need to send any messages. We wait for messages to be sent to us. Yeah. I'll we keep... want to keep it out in the open so if we do receive a message, we can yeah. hear it. I'll keep it on my person. <clears throat> Put it in a little bag or pocket I have. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm assuming that it's only a one way unless we talk back to it. I think that is Jamie. Oh, is that Jamie? Yeah. Let's continue on. Which we should be getting there pretty soon. It's not that should have been that far. Okay, we're going to a half, red dot. Half a day. We don't know if it's a cave. We've already traveled three hours. Well, let's go to the red dot. That's always good when there's a red dot. Mm-hmm. So we shall travel. Red dots must be different. Uh, during this travel, does the owl bear just following us like a zombie, or is it like trying to? The closer we get, it's acting a little more skittish, more alert. Fully following. Okay. He's actually following us. Okay. Following him. Okay. He's I think he just looks at me as weird. food. I think he just looks at me as food. It kind of ignores you guys for the most part. I'm actually actively ignoring it now. Okay. I've got well, my information and now. It's not that important okay. to me. Well, I'm <clears throat> trying to figure out what words, language does it understand? How can I communicate with it better as we're traveling, basically? Because I don't want it to just look like dumb. I'm just speaking to a bird, and the bird just looking at me like, <laughs> "Are you trying to teach it, or are yes. you just like, what? What are you trying to teach it?" Uh, well, of course, you know. And how follow. are you doing it? You know, follow. Okay, I'm gonna go. I have meat. I still have meat. I'll put. Meat. You're going to give up your meat. Yes. Bench. <laughs> And I will throw it. <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> Can I tell he just did that with my past perception? Or would this be... I'm trying to direct us there. But would I see this? I mean, you hear him go, fetch! I'll, I'll turn and look. I said, what'd you just do? I and the, the Albert hey. just runs off. <laughs> Not how you teach an animal. Okay. <laughs> you get it to do something else, and then you give it food as a treat for a reward. Reward it for it. Uh, don't make the reward the fetch toy. Okay, so. Also, don't yell fetch. Just <laughs> <laughs> fetch. <laughs> okay. I'll grab a stick. Fetch. <laughs> no, <it> didn't work. <laughs> See? <laughs> Me. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I'll continue directing us to the dot. <laughs> um, Wait, is there on this map when we're moving? Is there actual a marker where we're at? No. 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 Dang. <laughs> oh, oh. As yeah, as we're moving, I will crouch and be stealthy. Try to teach the thing to go stealthy. As I'm holding it down, trying to tap it down, be like, go low, stealth, creep, creep, like, st- stealth. It just kind of <laughs> crouches down and just kind of mimics you and yeah. like, hey, whatever speed you're going, it's going. <laughs> stealth. I'm right. just watching an amusement, <laughs> this behemoth of a beast just trying to be stealthy. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Only a perception check. Yeah. Yeah, there's... Yeah, because I was going to say, I'm going to roll and see how stealthy we can be from them. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Perception I, check. Do Am I going yeah, to everyone. active? Yeah. You can choose not to. I don't care. <laughs> do I have to? I mean, to I don't think you're beating mine. I mean, if it's perception to see if you don't want going. to. I got 14... Just because the DMS for it doesn't mean you can just you can ignore it. I got a twenty-four. Unless I say like, yeah, you have to. Like this is one of those. Yeah, if you want to ignore it, you can ignore it. That's a. Well, if it's dealing with a twenty-four. 
If it's dealing with them, I'm ignoring them. It's a 15, so I'm still trying to focus on the <laughs> I got a 14. 14. Uh, you're really focused on the map. You're playing with Owlbear Man. <laughs> and uh, okay. while walking, do you kind of look off in the distance uh, a little further south and looking for pedal miles something something seems something seems off about just like the general landscape like there's there, there's some things there that just look at a place like uh, like 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 there's a bush that doesn't really look like a bush how far away is that bush the bush looks like a man it's a, <laughs> about about 60 feet away. Oh. You can see any that. pebbles on the ground? And where we're walking? Pebbles? I'm assuming he's going to throw one anything. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, I just pick one up and chunk that in the bush. Oh. Okay, now I see what you're saying. I thought you were asking if there were pebbles near what you were no, looking no, no. at. No, no, no. Where we're no, walking, you can pick it up and chunk it. Yeah. It's an illusion. Uh, it's... You, you hit it, and you hear just a, uh, uh, rock hitting rock. What's well, the rock hitting in the bush and then skipping on the ground? But it, because whenever I threw it, I was, I imagine I'd be focusing pretty hard to see what the bush does if it acts like a normal bush, and like shakes all it, that. It 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 reacts the way. You Think a bush would react, but the landscape just seems odd. You said, "Mm hmm." Like it looks like a very out of place bush where it's at. No, you shouldn't be there. Uh, then at that point, is it just in that direction? Mm hmm. And what direction that was roll south? Roll me an inside check. Actually, perception again. Yeah, not inside perception. Uh, Could it be inside? That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, it's still a 15, I guess. 15? Um, <clears throat> one of the things that looks odd about it, too, is that it's partially dead. Well, under a tree, by a tree, just out and open. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's I mean it's it's near some trees. Uh, unless I see it, I'm gonna continue. Yeah. Uh, whenever something. I see that, I probably mm. yell up ahead, be like, "Hey, does over there look weird to you?" Look at it. Do I see the same stuff? Is it just out of place? Like, this doesn't seem like this should be the fo foliage that would belong in this area. It looks odd that there's just a half-dead tree, where or a half-dead bush, and there's not, like, the closest bush is, like, 15 foot away. Okay, and the parasite could have got it. Natural things for things that half die. Doesn't necessarily mean it's out of place here. True. I, yeah, <laughs> is that, uh, out of just curiosity, I'll just walk over to it. Is it a big bush or Sixty like a away. shrub? Yeah, I mean, we'll... I could do a brisk jog over to it. It won't take but a I mean, few it's seconds. A, I'll walk with him. If he's going to walk over there, like, well, fuck it. Still in the same direction, fuck it. It's a, it's a, it's a... <clears throat> Decent, ooh, decent size, like three foot by three foot. The ground looked disturbed around it or anything. Uh, I see a person in the bush catches fire. Let me investigation check. <laughs> Eat your burger. Orc rules is fine now. We're doing <laughs> it. It's, 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 it's dead. It, you don't get to keep it. Orc rules means it's dead, Chris. You gotta get a new die. Said investigation. Mm -hmm. That's an eight. Looks kind of normal. 
you care to investigate it? Doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll roll a nature check real quick to, to see if I understand what type of bush this may be, and maybe if this triggers anything, I'll investigate more. That's an 11. No, that's a 12. Half dead bush? Yeah. Okay, seems normal. Can we continue on to the red dot? I just pull it up. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, comes, it comes up just super easy. Yeah. Just. Do you, Bruce, have, a, do you have a thing against bushes? Look. <laughs> I guess it's not just dead just, people. God damn. <laughs> roots look normal and everything. Uh, the the roots are short, extremely short. Is this short. something you do back in your homeland of Egypt? Well, we don't normally actually have very many. Oh, because that's where and the, then Jews, as the you, Jews find those things, huh? Yeah. The Egyptians. <laughs> and as you pulled it up and look at the roots and then look back at the <laughs> where it was, you notice that the ground and where it is, two different colors. What do you mean, the ground and where it is? Like, there's something there that's a different color, and then there's soil. Oh. That's different colored from the soil. Well, that's different. I told you the bush looked weird, man. I'm going to actually look down and investigate <laughs> the, the thing that's there, because now that's obviously different. <laughs> Hold on, first, roll up the map. Tuck map away. Magnifying glass. Go. Toward the table, not towards you. God damn it. That means 15. It's still, it's still pretty good. That's what I do whenever I roll. So, and I will now investigate the area for contaminants and other things that may be there that would... Or just a box. Are you going to do anything else or, or, or just look? You know, I'll pull up my little ten, my magical 10-foot pole or whatever and poke it. That's it? Move shit around. I mean, I'm investigating it. I'm obviously going to do some yeah. movement. Yeah, well, and with the magnifying glass, that's like more looking. Right. Like, I didn't know if you were actually touching and moving stuff no, around. No, I'm, in, I'm investigating. I'll look and then I'll also prod and move. But there's, doing, doing, there's been a lot of times since we've been playing where you guys have investigated stuff and, and are like, we're not touching. We're not touching anything. I'm touching. We're just looking. I'm so touching. I, I'm not afraid I'm, of this dirt. I'm being specific. I wanted to be specific on this. I'm the dude yes, that just picks shit up. Yeah. I'm not afraid of this dirt. So I'll I'll be touching and moving. I'll go slow about it before I do it. But I'll start. There's a five foot steel trap door. Hey, I think I found your cave. We're nowhere near it. I'll look we at the map the and see if it has cave. if it. Kind of corresponds with the map. Mm-hmm. As far as you can tell, it, it's a good possibility. Okay, so we have no indicator for ourselves. Mm. Give yourself a bird again. <laughs> Look up again. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Just... Oh, you're just gonna rip it open? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. I've already investigated. I, if, if I would have seen something, I would have seen it then. When while investigating, if it's a steel door, I've moved that shit out of the way. And if I, if he didn't say there's anything there, I was talking I'm about like screwed. More magical <laughs> properties. Like I said, he investigated. I, I investigated it. I okay. saw nothing that he said I could find. He trusts himself that much that his investigation is enough nope. to discern whether there's something out there. <laughs> yeah. We're still 60 okay. feet away, so. No, he's no I'm right no. up on him. Me and the owl bear. Oh, are still, and you're, still you're, you're slow walking up because you're sneaking. Yeah, you're, you're We're just, stealthy. Yeah. Stealth. Stealth, stealth. Stealth, stealth. <laughs> stealth. Okay, yeah, I'll, if, I, if there's a handle to pull. Total, like, Mowgli Baloo yeah. moment. <laughs> 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 just pull. Bare necessities. Simple bare necessities. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll rip open the door. If I can. Yep, you oh, grab the Does it latch. seem rusted? Or is it no. fresh? Not, okay. Oh, that's that's definitely different. I'll, I'll open up the latch. <clears throat> Opens right up. Creaks a little bit. Roll me a dexterity 17. 
<laughs> Sam's coming your way. <laughs> so fucking pissed. You see, there's a. You open it up, and uh, as the light goes in, you see a very well crafted tunnel going down with a rope ladder. Ooh. Interesting smell. Um, a smell that comes up and hits you is just like, kind of just uh, like, like a musty. Old books. Yeah. No Don't rotting s- flesh. Yeah. Like that. No rotting flesh smell. Okay. So I will. Uh, I'll make my um, little lights, and I'll send them down the hole. Uh, it goes down about fifty feet, and then there's a. You can tell there's like a slight, uh, like a dip where it, it go. It goes here this way, and then that way. Okay. I'll move them around a bit. And then wait about 20 or so seconds. I have them spinning. Just enough time to see if something catches them or sees it. And then if I hear nothing, like, all right, I'm going to go down. Be right behind Come on, Dr. Claymore, found a hole. <clears throat> Tell your owl buddy to... Uh, Baloo is not going to be able to come with us. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm just giving you that to show that the, that you are currently using that. Yeah, yeah. Hot. So send them down, concentrate on them, and they're like, ready to go? Sure. I'm going down here with them. I'll calm down first. Ooh. I'll go last. And yeah, cast. sorry, you're not going to fit through that door. It just starts circling it. Yeah. Um, you stay here. We'll be back. Hopefully through the same door. So you just stay. You want to set a alarm? Stay. <laughs> stay. Mm. I should, that might be a good idea. Good thought. Hold on. Let me see how far that will actually be. Um, no, because the owlbear will... Oh, I can make that sure the owlbear doesn't trigger it. I'll just say, I'll fucking Albert trigger it the whole damn time. <laughs> ow, just, ow, and I'm here, <laughs> eh, eh, eh. shut the fuck <laughs> A mile away. Okay, yeah. Uh, before I go down, I'll pause. Oh, mentions that, then yeah, I'll set an alarm on the door. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Is that the Z fold? Yes. Nice. I haven't actually seen anybody that actually owned one. <clears throat> I mean, you've seen the Z flip, but not the Z if fold. If you do anything besides like religiously watch porn, don't buy one. Well, <laughs> oh my God, I need one now. Not that you mentioned. Obviously, you don't know the sexual cravings that this man has. I mean, I know you grabbed another man's penis that's in this group. Yes. God damn it, it wasn't mine. <laughs> I can make it happen. I mean, he's fully willing. <laughs> I'm the one he's talking about. <laughs> Have you said it twice? You dared me that I wouldn't do it. <laughs> okay, well, you brought it on to yourself. So it sounds like... Don't worry. We've been first... Don't touch mine. We've been so <laughs> <we're> good. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, actually man. way more worried about that. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, probably, yeah, I would just... Because Mo will continue. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is pretty big and rigid. <laughs> What's is... this thing gonna do? Where's the other testicle? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, Mo took it to that next level. Mo did mine. I was like, haha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, Mo's a- he's about the only person I've ever been scared about, like, continuously joking with. Because I don't know how far he's going to take it. Imagine, all the way. Like, <laughs> imagine sitting way. like six feet from him and he says his shit all day. <laughs> no. Man, don't bother me, man. He brings up Franny so much, man. It's not even funny. <laughs> I, it's I feel, really funny. I feel like I feel like I'm the only person who would like <laughs> push him and push him and push him and push him because yeah, I make things you're awkward. A little more physical. Than this. Just like... Yeah, it's very funny when he comes into my office and Chip's there. Chip gets very uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. It's hilarious. This is great. And then I walk in. And I don't know better. if this white boy is gay or not. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, but it's funny. That could that. be a, a a cover of wife. <laughs> Um, what Craig, when Craig comes in there, because Craig will do that shit to him because he mm-hmm. knows it bothers Chip. He knows it bothers him so much and he will fuck with him. He's like, I'm not down with that shit. 
<laughs> so, so he does not like the cuss very often. She's like, I'm not down with that shit. Leave me alone. That's great. All right. Do I have a sign around my neck that says gay ass motherfucker? Leave me the fuck alone. It's a neon light. So yes, it's there. <laughs> it's up. While I'm sitting in the back going, what up? I don't care. It's just funny. You do you? One of my uh, best friends is Chris. He's grabbed my dick before. I mean... <laughs> Don't get much gayer than that, fellas. <laughs> so you're not the only friend in my friend circle that has grabbed my dick on purpose or on, on accident. Because it happened a couple of times and I'm Listen, starting to wonder. I'm the only one who did it that you enjoyed it. Sure is. How do you accidentally grab a penis? Oh, he's, no. trying to, he's, trying to be, he's trying to do something else. And body slam? No, no body slam. That's intentional. That's not accidental. It basically check, like actually check on the leg. Uh, Are you guys instead, playing a game? He, he missed it and went straight for it because he's trying to go. Ha ha! I got your leg. And he went right there on my balls. Like, <laughs> I got your back. That's my dick, bro. <laughs> I was like, were you guys playing the gay game? Like it was, like, it was Josh. Jo Josh will take it straight up that far. Yeah, like, this is before Josh. You know what the gay game just... is? No. It's it's where it's like. Do you trust me? And you do the same thing, thing and you're like, do you trust me? It's like, do you yeah. trust me? You just no, keep going. Josh is the guy who will go, do you trust me? Do you trust me? <laughs> like, like, step one, all the way to the finish line. <laughs> Everybody else is like, I'm going to go three, four, five. Like, how close can I get before he's uncomfortable? And Josh is like, I'm going straight towards uncomfortable. <laughs> Josh gives zero fucks. So... Alarm on this door, I'm leaving no marker that there's an alarm, like I normally do for the camp. So there's nothing that will say that there's an alarm spell here. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to try to convince her whatever way possible since I kind of, by this point, I realize... He can exclude it, so... No. The owl. <laughs> by this time, while it's communicating, I'm assuming that I understand that casting communicating with animals... you're doing the mental one. one, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. doing the mental so, one. Okay. I decide, I'm going to stay, we'll be back. Yeah, you know, if you want to run away, cool. It's your prerogative. Please don't. We shall be back. It's my prerogative. <laughs> so, um, down the hatch we go. Yeah, after the ten minute ritual, I'll I'll go first, and then I'll go last and just cast light on my shield. Okay. I'll have dancing lights up in front of me, and I'll I'll send them in little. Basically, I have one out going. Um, 40 foot, 30 foot, 20 foot, 10 foot, just so I have a, a continual okay. 40 foot lighted path Gotcha. in front of me. All right. And spear and shield at the ready. So about 50 foot down, you will see uh, a wooden door. Okay. And by the way, this place is relatively clean. You need a gelatinous cube. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we've ever run into that trap, but it's hilarious when we do. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, especially when you go fireball <laughs> and completely miss it. Yeah, Adam. <laughs> I rolled a 20! <laughs> it dodged! <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. It's a giant cube that takes the hold. that slowest thing in, <laughs> slower than a zombie. It has a negative on dexterity. <laughs> and you had like a DC 16, it has a negative 3, and it rolled a 20. Okay? <laughs> Math checks out. <laughs> this, this I was just this, as surprised this, as you this, were. This is what happened to my characters throughout the whole campaign. <laughs> it's like, shield! Well, I crit you. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's shield <laughs> rolled in that 19 damn it mean, fuck the shield spell i'm not using it anymore fuck it like as soon as i leveled up changed it got rid of it because he hit me regardless mm -hmm. every time i was just wasting spell slots so do you want to investigate the door to see if there's yes, any traps i'll definitely investigate the door before um or detect any traps okay which i can't use a the glass because you're doing the light. Uh, I'm doing a full investigation. I can use the, use this, but I need a small detail. Gotcha. If I find something that looks important, I can go to small detail. But if not, I have to do just a normal detail. Fuck. Oh, fuck that was a 13. 13? Um, as far as you can... Wait. 
exactly how are you? I'm just investigating around for trip wires, special sigils, just to... So you aren't going to be touching the door? Not at first, no. I'm going to look for sigils and wires first before I t ever touch anything. It's all visual. Then I'll listen. Then I'll smell. Yeah, he'll taste it. <laughs> not ever tasting. Well, I'm, actually, I'm not going to take that off, but taste is last. Because then I'll it. touch. If I, if the, that's my four senses that I'll go through first. Okay, it's, so the first one. It's see, just sight. sight. You don't find, you don't see anything strange. <clears throat> Listen for any clicking or anything like that in my yeah. investigation. Then the uh, smell. Look, smelling for anything. This whole it. place smells the same. Okay, and now go for touch. Which is, oh, uh, as the door. soon as you touch it, a mouth appears on the doy on the doy 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 a mouth appears on the door <laughs> hello adventurers oh god it is one of those welcome to yet another one of my grand vessels grand vessels whatever it says i'm like what if this is the first one we found though that i don't one think just so. sounded weird i think it recognizes the map i think we're being watched <laughs> yeah Hi, mouth and door. Give us the riddle to grant his entrance. To gain access here, all you have to do is be polite. Uh, could you please open the door for us, then? No. Thank you. Polite to whom? To you or to each other? Uh, it's, a, it's a mouth and a door. My friend, I would like you to know that I appreciate you. And Does this hurt I you? I knock on the door. <laughs> Internally, is this yeah, painful just... for you? <laughs> Access granted. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what did you say? That, that was all in character, too. It was great. <laughs> what the did stairs dead yeah. in character, too. <laughs> yeah, like, what did you say? It said polite. Knock on the door first. Obviously. Okay, knock on doors where we're from. <laughs> that's crazy talk. We, we kick doors. You definitely come from a different world here. <laughs> yeah, <definitely. laughs> that's. I think it's more of a different line of work kind of thing. All right. Well, I usually just sneak in. Saying your lights. Yeah, I know. All right. All right. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I'll. I'll Redo the spell like I need to. I thought you said cellulites. I was like, I'm looking for the cellulite that is in this room because if there's a big fat leg, we ain't going in. <laughs> yeah, so lights into the door before we enter. Um, there's a, it, it's a 50 by 50 foot room. Uh, there are, uh, looks to be two sarcophagi in this room, both oh, of nice. which are open. And uh, do you they look Egyptian? Uh, <laughs> no, they do not. That's so disappointing. <laughs> but it's still a tomb. And uh, you will see uh, bandages and wrappings on the ground next to one of them, and uh, uh, bones next to the other one. Well, uh, since it says still be polite, I'm going to be polite and say. After you, my good friend, since you did knock. <laughs> also dripping with sarcasm. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> you, you discovered the clue before I did, and I can't. My, really my know that. passive. This is not a character, but in my area work, is like, for me to figure out. My <laughs> passive insight easily picks up all that shit. <laughs> I'm almost just as good as you. Just mad. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, just. just walk in. <laughs> okay. And I'll follow right after. Uh, where's the door at in this one? <clears throat> uh, there's or a the... door immediately uh, to the right of the room. So, so as soon as you go in, two struck off guy to the right is a is another door. I, I learned my lesson last time, so I'm just gonna. Does it look the same? Walk over to the door. The door. Does yes. The same. Look... Yes. Okay. Same make. Okay. All right, I'll be the last one through the door. Except for the, <clears throat> ex the only difference is it's red wood. Okay. And is it a dark wood or a light wood? It, it was like an oak. Okay. That's 
As soon as I pass the threshold of the door, does the door close? It does not. Okay, well. Cool. Uh, would like to approach the sarcophagi and kind of... Hold on. Wait. I would see what the door says first. Okay. You want me to go ahead and do detect magic first? And, sure. And then just mm-hmm. hold on here a second. Do you want to do your detect dead? I mean, yeah, I can. I'm saying because, I mean, bandages, bones, and a sarcophagi that are open kind of seems like they shouldn't be. Well, it's going to take me ten minutes because I'm not uh, wasting spell slot. Yeah, I'm right. just going to do Eyes of the Dead real quick then. Okay, well, I'll start do. I'll start preparing my ritual for the tech dead, or not the tech dead, the tech magic. Yeah. That's so, fine. Any undead within sixty feet not being in full cover? None good. that you can detect. Okay. While he's setting that up, I'm just does that that doesn't require like intense concentration to set that up. I mean, I just I can't be something can't interrupt me. Anything interrupts me during the ritual, like actual interrupt. You could say stuff to me or okay. whatever, it won't interrupt it. But like something coming and attacking me or I, a fart, I just definitely walk <laughs> over to the door, the second door. Yeah, I don't touch it or anything yet. I just walk over. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't talk or anything? No, nah, the other one did when we touched it. I just followed up with another knock on the door. <laughs> oh, you touched it. I thought you learned your lesson after not touching shit inside rooms. Hey, man. <laughs> all the doors so far have just been touched. They speak some stuff. As soon as you uh, knock on it, the mouth appears. You must first solve the puzzle before entering the next room. I'll be like, hey, what are you doing? We to... We're gonna have to know it anyways. Hold on, you could have been trapped or warded with something horrible, like the box you picked up last time. I mean, we dealt with it just fine. <laughs> okay. I the one you almost died. Sheet, magic sheet. I'm so tempted to just go up, do the mummy wrappings. Put it back in the sarcophagus, see if it works. Cause now, now it's like a competition. No, I'm not competing with anybody. <laughs> competing? Um, competing. All right, so your ritual's over? Well, or they, depends on if he does something to, to fuck it over. No, I'm not, not going to actually okay. fuck up your What ritual. are you doing? Just take magic. Okay. Yeah. Um, while he's doing that, because what, it's ten minutes? Yeah, ten, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten. 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 Are the sarcophagi on the ground? Yes, they're not floating. Well, I mean, they might be on a table <laughs> or something. No, no, they're just there. On the ground? Mm-hmm. Um, Don't touch the it. The lid completely off of it, or like cracked open? Uh, it's shifted. Okay. So like, if, just, if this was the sarcophagi, it's like a... It's cracked open. I just walk up to the point where I can see down into it. See what I can see in them. I don't touch them or anything, I just... Inside one of them, uh, you will see a bunch of beetles kind of scouring around. They're not trying to get out. They're just kind of moving around inside. Lovely. And then the next one, you see a bunch of scorpions doing the same thing. Jump. Jump. One of them. I'm good. <laughs> They won't fit my massive body. Well, they will. They'll fit, yours. <laughs> They'll fit yours much easier. No, I'm fine. I'm waiting. Don't worry, he can cure the scorpion poison. <laughs> I'm still waiting. <laughs> I don't fix stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, after that, I just wait till his ritual's over, though. I'm not gonna... Jump! It's one of that shit, yeah. Hey, I'm... I'm... I'll eventually get the ritual. As long as you're not doing anything that will stop right. me. Once you no. you do the ritual, what do you do? I will now look at the sarcophagi and also look at the doors, too. I want to know what type of magic is on these. They're pink. 
Don't say that. <laughs> Pink's a bad color. Pink again, I'm pretty sure it's not was not on here. No, oh, not on here. That's why it's a bad color. Don't say that. Because <laughs> yeah, pink is not if there. It's, if so. it's not a school of magic and it shows pink. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this ain't magic. <laughs> this shit just fucked up. The doors are green. Hmm. That's all you hear. Hmm. Yep, I'm sure if you knew more, you would elaborate. While the oh, oh, dip, dip. sarcophagi, there is a thin purple, almost like sheet over uh, over the sarcophagi. Over it, like layered over yeah, that's it. Yeah, they they're not out. glowing of it. They're, no. It's like la the okay. Yeah, that's why they don't get out. Did, does it look like any of the ores are fluctuating, moving, or is it just solid? Like the doors are solid. Um, green. It's, like, it's like a like a misty color. Okay, all right. I'll say there's an illusion on the door, which is probably the magic mouth, and um, but there the sarcophagi are enchanted. So that's why they're not allowed to come out, or doesn't let the insects out. I mean, it could be any number of things. It could be for sturdiness. Well. Well, no, like actually, no, that wouldn't mean... That's an abjuration. Uh, yeah. right? Enchantment can do lots of things. And there's only bandages and bones on the ground? Yes. There's a pile of bones and a pile of bandages. Okay, so bandages are next to the <clears throat> sarcophagi with the beetles? No. The, like, they're... If there's two sarcophagi here, they're each directly in the middle. One is north, one is south. Do I see pile two... of bones on the south? Pile of bandages. Uh, are there two skulls? Yeah, you might as well make a representation. I don't have sarcophagus, guy, so we'll use this. It's a nice sarcophagus. So, if there's two there, you have a more barrels, more barrels. A pile of wraps. And a pile of bones. And are there two skulls in the pile of bones? Uh, there are no skulls. No skulls. Just a random pile of bones. Okay. Are both are both sarcophagus? They they are, they do seem kind of randomish, like just like it's almost like parts. arms and legs. Okay. Are they both are both sarcophagus cracked open, or is one with off the lid? They're they're both shift, shifted okay. open. Is Same there anything direction. else in this room at all, or is it just? A clear room other than these things right there. Uh, as far as you can tell, it's just these things. And no auras anywhere else in the room aside from what I saw, what you've already described, right? Um, as you look around the room, yeah. um, there is a faint... Uh, uh, there's a faint bit of red in each corner of the room. All right, I'll point out conjuration in each corner. So let's not mess up or else we might have a fight on our hand. Lovely. Or worse, <laughs> like water filling up the room. Mm. The door's still open. And then oh, now, close. Uh, if you looked... I, I, I'm, I'm looking. You, you, I'm, yeah. that's, that's my entire job right now is yeah. completely surveying and looking Directly everything. above you, you will see... Uh, in the center of the room, it changes color into every single school. Oh. Fuck, that was funny. Call me another name, bitch. Trick? <laughs> or treat? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll explain that and I'll go, that's never a good sign. No. That is not. And that's directly above this? Mm -hmm. Yes. And the hole? No. 
No, it's just a symbol on the just, roof. Just swirling auras right there. Mm-hmm. It's it's almost like there's a there's a sphere mm-hmm. and the sphere is changing colors, like every every two to three seconds. Well, I say we so at random cast a spell. Take the lid off the sarcophagi to see yes. more of them. I'm not going to if everyone says it's cool. Uh, I don't. Then I can't be blamed for it. Well, I can be blamed less for it. Look, let's look at it this okay. way. I'm only going to if everyone's okay yeah. with it. Do we see any writing? Before you do that, is there any writing on any of these that, that would any anything? On the sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. Walls, floors. Uh, looking for some type of clue that yeah. would give us. Uh, Something other than what we see here. Uh, there is a little bit of draconic on the wrapped or the, the beetle. The beetle scorpion. Okay. There's a little bit of draconic on the beetle sarcophagi, and there's a bit of common on the uh, scorpion. scorpion sarcophagi. I don't want to do another ritual for comprehension languages. Uh. I'll just pop, fucking pop a spell. It's Can I read common? And yeah. Read what not. Draconic? No. Can I read what the common says? Mm-hmm. It says, what do the scorpions have in common with the beetles? They're both in a fucking sarcophagus. <laughs> I mean, no, they're both nocturnal creatures or insects. Well, no. is, is this specific type of beetle? Is it a scarab? Nature they're, chick? They're sure, a nature yeah. chick. Go for it. Who Who's gonna roll me a nature chick? You've got the nature. Do I have the nature? Yeah. I don't have the nature. He's got higher nature than me. I have a plus, I have a plus three. Yeah, it'll be the same as me. No, I have a one. So <laughs> that's a crit. That's a twenty-three. I would like to know about Cephalopolis scarabs <laughs> and black jumbo beetles and scorpion shit. I don't know. What's the twenty-three? Twenty-three. Okay. Yeah. So you don't know what kind of beetles these are. What? But. Yeah. They they do look like they, um, they they do have horns. Okay. They I have a beetle. They have six legs. Okay. So definitely not an arachnid. And they have a blackish green shell. Okay. And the scorpion. If you move your lights over, is when you see like the, the green sheen. <clears throat> and they scorpions? You think they... Mm, I'm sorry. And the scorpions? Uh, the scorpions. Uh, these... These look like... These almost look like the desert scorpions from of Cholt. Okay. Desert scorpions of Cholt. Hmm. The poisonous? The, the, yeah, ones, yeah. the ones in Cholt are... Very poisonous or a little poisonous? They will paralyze you. Okay. They won't kill you. They'll just make you numb to a lot of stuff. Okay. Um. You want to do comprehend languages so we at least know what the other one says? Yeah, I'll actually do. I'll spin the spell. You don't have to physically touch it, would you? Mm -mm. Mm. Oh. Yeah. It has to. You have to hold it. I have to. Yeah, Yeah. I have to have my hand on it. So fuck it. You can put your hand on the top of it. The enchantments on, on the, the surface entrance. Only. Yeah. Yeah. I'll cast uh, comprehend languages, and I'll put my hand on the thing and read the draconic. All right. You cast the spell. Run your hand across the uh, draconic markings, and it says, "In this room, look for things that are the same." And not for the differences. They're both insects. 
Mm-mm. Scorpions are not insects. They're both black. They have green the, in them? The scorpions are actually a tannish color. Okay, that's what I was figuring. <laughs> they have the same amount of legs? They both have carapace. Yeah. They both have the same amount of legs, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Six and six. No. Well, yeah, I guess so. It's just they have four. How many bones so six are in the pile? Eight. Um, can I tell if any of them are the same? They all look the exact same. Like, not like you have before. you have four bones and four bones. One of the four, they four look like arms. Four look like legs. Like an arm bone. Yes. Or a full arm. Like wrist to elbow. Okay. And then knee to to ankle. One of the bones that's in there? Yeah. This would be the, the, this would be the, the single bone. No markings or and anything? The single bone. Because the other ones are double bones. The single bones then. Okay. No markings on them? Something like that? Same with the bandages? Just normal wraps? Uh, you have one pair of tan wraps and one pair of very super clean white wraps. Um, do we know anything else about these beetles? Like, are they poisonous? Not that I know of. But, and we, so we have basically two sets of arm bones and two sets of leg bones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we have a set of, is it one continual wrap? Like just one two band? Uh, yeah, but like white, one big long white one and one big long Tan one. Tan one. No, there's well, two, two sets, sets of each. Two sets of each. Two what sets is. of each. And we're supposed to look for what's similar in the room, and then it says and the other one says what's similar about the beetle and the scorpion. And the scorpion. Besides the amount of appendages they have. I mean scorpion technically have eight appendages. Mm-hmm. Two with claws. And the beetles have that. There's a it's horn on the beetle, horn. Mm-hmm. no horn on the scorpion, because it has a tail. Mm-hmm. Um, the skeleton's on the outside. Another markings. It's enchanted. Um, what? what are you thinking? Use your inspiration no, for a clue. That be <laughs> nah, he's my inspiration for a clue. <laughs> A clue, a clue. <laughs> um, can I call a friend? <laughs> Sending stuff. How many? Can we count how many beetles or scorpions are in each? It's not. There, there's a lot. There's a lot. Okay, so there's no like definitive number that we can tell. Okay. But yeah. that's the I'm gonna rain man that shit. Yeah. Uh, um, this could be similar. I'm fucking looking. It's it's so many and the way that they are constantly moving, it'd be too it's too hard to keep yeah, track. I just uh, I'm not saying I want Rain Man. I'm saying if you said there's seven in this one and five of this is okay. I have another thing to go by. Sarcophagus. They look the same other than the writing. And they're open to both How, in the same direction. Same coloration. Uh yes. Same like are they chiseled the same? The, the words stone. that are inscribed? No, no, like the stone sarcophagus. Mm-hmm. And basically, do they look the same other than writing on them? Yes. Identical, effectively. Okay, so they're the same. All right, like how? How? Like one, one has just looking at one it, has yes. curved, curved uh, arounds, and the other. I'm saying, are you going to do like a full investigation to check both of them out? Is what I'm asking. I mean, at first glance, yes. Okay. But if you're going to do an investigation, maybe, maybe not. Okay. Also, it depends on what you tell me. I, oh, I'm getting to it. You just have to answer. We're figuring it out. Hold on. I don't know what I'm fully doing yet. 
Uh, I don't so, think they were expecting this when they said they want funhouse dungeons. Seems very entertaining. That's it. This is my wheelhouse. Look at this thing. Show me a picture of each and <laughs> beetle and <laughs> scorpion. I want to look at them now. Um, Because the only thing you've touched so far is just the draconic writing, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do Maybe we want to lift the, the... Does it look like I'm we can lift the tables? Lift or lift the, the tops of the sarcophagus and see what's underneath? Go for it. Well, okay. we can. I'll go we over in anywhere, so... Yeah, go over and then lift the, the top and flip it over. See if anything moves, comes after I'm ready. When you flip over <laughs> the sarcophagi yeah, we'll start with the beetles. With the beetles, it's uh uh etched in it says tying. Tying? T Y I N G tying. Tying a knot. Yes. Okay. Alright, we'll and then we'll flip over go, the scorpions. Yeah, we'll flip over the scorpions. Bonds. What that is? Tying and bonds? And they both in common? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bondage. Dom and sub. Tying and bonds. That's why it's like my kind of done. <laughs> um, I want to pick up the, the clear or the white bandages. Mm -hmm. And... Put it over the coffee because it had the lid saying time. It'll be the beetle one. And just drop it in there. Just happens. the whole bandage? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just gonna hold on to any of it? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna dip it in there. Yeah, you wanna like tie it in a knot, maybe? Nah, you're just, just gonna you're just dip dipping the whole a little bit. Like, hold on, because you said you're dropping it, now you're dipping like No no, I just wanna Break the surface of where I, I assume he saw the. I go ahead and ready my weapon just in case. Yeah, it's like because there's a layer of something over it, so I just want to right, touch, you, lay you, it on top of the beetles and you, see what happens. If they start it, crawling it, out of it or what? It goes in and the the beetles just kind of start swarming over it for a little bit and then start ignoring it. Cool. All right. So do the same thing with the scorpions with the same wrap. Okay. Um, Right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll do that. <clears throat> I didn't trigger anything. Might as yeah. well see. What... I'll do. I'll do the same clear one onto the scorpions, without it, doing no time. Where the just... Where the beetles? Exact yeah, same reaction. Okay. Well, now I'll do it with the tandem. I uh, know. I'm gonna tie a bow, or tie a knot. One. I'm gonna try several knots. I do one knot. Just one do one knot. knot. All right. Do one knot towards the bottom of the bandage to the end of it. And try it again on the not one. What does it say? Tie. Mm -hmm. What does it do now? Not exact same thing. Okay, cool. Now I'll try the tan one. See if they have a different reaction. Tie bonds. I do the same thing with the tan one. See if there's the same reaction. I'm still thinking. Thinking of tying a pile of bones and throwing it in the one that says tie. <laughs> Same reaction. I'm gonna do it with the bone this time. What? What do you mean? Just to form the bones and so you're grabbing a bone. We'll make it right over. You know your hand's gonna break the surface of the spell, right? Not if I don't. I'm holding the bone long ways, dipping it up. How far down is the sarcophagus? Shouldn't be super deep, especially for a thigh bone. The thigh bone's pretty long. Same reaction. All right. I'm gonna um, tie the white one to your bone, and then dangle the bone. On in there. You just like literally tying it off on it? Yeah. I was gonna wrap it. And 
so you tied a bone. Tied a bone and dropped the bone and Where at? It into the one that says tied. And immediately the a handful of beetles swarm up on it and stay over it. Okay. I want to check how long is the the other one. I got a not, bite, guys. The other one they're not messing with. I want to see how long the wrap is from here to here. Like how long these are. Oh, is do they reach from sarcophagus to sarcophagus? Yes. They can. Well, I got a tie over here. We could. Can we make a you ladder make out a of bridge. it? bridge. Yeah. With the bones, you tie yeah. two bones. Sure, yeah. Well, yeah we, we, the other we, got, we have eight bones, and then we can tie them at, at intervals and make a like a rope ladder. We'll maybe put them between the two, because it seems like they try to climb up it. What happens if I try to pull the bone out? Will the beetle stay attached to it, or will they fall off after they, I pull it out? The, you try to pull them up, and the, as soon as they, they get to a certain point, they all fall off. Okay. I just didn't want them to come out. I, where the magical sheen is, they... Yeah. Let's try doing the ladder. Do we do? Because if that's half, I would just start with tying it to clear. like one, the one that you already have tied off. Just tie it to another bone. Put one bone into one, one bone into another. What? Well, I was gonna use all, all eight of them. Yeah, I'll make eight. a ladder. You can put a ladder like like a ladder, single like rope ladder, in, like a rope ladder. Because it's tying and a bond. And what's similar between the two is they're both trying to get out. Mm -hmm. And they only react to something getting down in there with the tied bond. It would look like that, basically. Or, yeah, I get oh, well, I mean, you, well, could, do, you could do, you could do two, because yeah. we have two long lines of bandages. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more than down to do that. So, rope ladder like that. We're using the bones, that's basically the steps. So one would be the clear one, one would be the tan room. Bond, 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 blah, 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 I guess we put claws. the tan down on the scorpion side? Like we do the two lengths of the tan. Is one bandage long enough to make it all the way from one yeah. sarcophagus to the other sarcophagus? Yes. Yes, one, because okay. one side will have to be the clear one, one side would have to be the tan one. Unless you want to cut it in half. No, and no, then no I don't cut it. it. I'm just trying to see what we would need to, to get the same. I'm trying to see how much we really need to, to use. If one of one of them might we might not even need to use. Well, if we want to make it like this, yeah. Well, it, there's, there's only two, one there's of two them. Sets of, there's, there's two, two sets, sets of each. each color. Ah, I didn't know that was two. Yeah, sets. there's two sets of each color. Okay. okay. One okay, super white, one tan. Yeah. So we want to use just the white one since the beetles reacted to the white one. Yeah, they both reacted to a white one with a bone tied to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can try the white one. I don't know how that matches with the clear one. I mean, you can also just just quickly tie a tan one to a bone and drop it in. See if the same reaction. See if we get the same reaction with yeah, the tan we, one. We got time. We might as well try. Okay, we'll tie the tan one and tie a bone and dip it into the beetle one and see if it does the same thing. We'll probably do your bone. And. Same thing. Okay. I put it on the scorpion out. one since we haven't done that yet. Yeah, we'll, I'll do it to the scorpion side with the same tanned cloth and a bone tied to it. Put it in the scorpion one this time. Because apparently we get the reaction out of the beetles, not the scorpion one yet. So, same thing or no? Uh, the scorpions start attacking the bone. Ooh. I. While it's tied to a bandage. Okay. I want to full wrap one of the bones in a bandage. Like, fully wrap it and then tie it off. Put it down in the scorpion one. Okay. Same thing? They just start ignoring it. They actually, like, keep distance from it. From the which one? The white one? No, no, it's just a... So they just keep distance. Not like the putting the wrap in where they kind of looked at it and then ignored it. They're... They're actually avoiding you. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe there's... Roll me a perception check. There's something at the bottom of the sarcophagus. Just a 15 is not going to do it. <laughs> 
damn it. It's lower than my passive. 14. I, you do notice that there are etchings at the bottom of the sarcophagi. Let's do it. Get right. some bones, yep. drop drop them in to get the away from the rain. Wrap all of the bones. And then So you wrap all eight bones? Yes. Well one have four claws. Four bandages. Yeah, I mean four, bones. sorry, four. We have four bandages, yeah. but we have eight bones. Four is probably enough. And then Well you can I mean it's the bandages are long enough you could wrap. You could do kind of like a yeah, like yeah. make a picture frame. Yeah, and then just drop it in and scroll it across. But wasn't the uh, scorpion one the one that had the draconic or whatever? Beetles had draconic. Beetles had draconic. Uh, yeah, which the underside was common for both. So what does the scorpion one in the bottom say? If it's got writing, what in language is? Yeah. So we drop it in there where it looks like a picture frame, and they ignore it. This should give us enough of a window yeah. to read inside mm -hmm. uh, you doing the scorpion side right yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when you drop it in there uh, in common it'll say together and this is done with the white cloth it didn't specify which cloth that we're using it didn't matter it's, it's just wrapped and then drop in. Well, let's do it on the other one. Yeah. The beetle one, the same one. See if they oh, might avoid it. Yeah, this is before they swarmed it. Maybe if we if we put it instead of doing like a picture frame, we put it to the side. Maybe it'll swarm and they'll all move across to them. Where the the scorpions avoid, the, the beetles well, might swarm too. I um, also I don't think we ever wrap one and put it in the beetle. Mm -hmm. I think we just did that with the scorpion. Okay, we'll try that. Might as well try it first since we already have it like that. And then if that doesn't work, then the way that you said. And, and what did it say again at the bottom? Together. Together. Okay. And this says bond on top, together on bottom. Bond together. And then tying. And what does it say on the bottom? Well, what happens whenever we put it in, I guess? The beetle. The okay, beetle now the confidence. wrap bone on the bottom of the beetle. What they do? They spread out as well and start avoiding as well, okay. and they start just going up around the, the the edges. And you'll see the word that. Tying that. Tying that bond together. Bond together. That tie. Tying bond together. That. Tying that bond together. And then what's similar about oh that's the what's similar about both beetles and scorpions is they avoid. I don't really care about their differences, I only care about what they do. I look for what's similar in the room. Well, it's similar. Where is the key tying that bond together? Go look at the door, the, the other door. See if there's any words on that door. I haven't actually investigated that door other than hearing him tap on it. Uh, you don't see anything on the door. Because the last one we went to actually gave us a, mm -hmm. a, a actual objective. That solved the riddle. Yeah, this one's the outside of this one said similar. This one said. What did this one say in Draconic? Uh, look for what's similar. This one says what's what's similar between the, uh, the, the, the scorpion, the scorpion, and the beetles, and this one was what look for what's similar in the room. Floating thing above us that changes between spells. Can we? Can 
we move the stuff inside and move it around and see if there's any other words inside the sarcophagus? Yeah. It's just that. And even when I, like, literally put my hands past the enchanted spot to grab the thing, to move it around. Oh, you're actually going past? Oh, I'm going to go past it now. And look, because if they're avoiding it, I'm not afraid. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll actually hold it like a picture frame. Do you want to do that on the Beatles? Though? As soon as you put your hands in past it, the you'll hear some crackling up top. Huh? And a ghostly figure appears in the front of the room. Okay. Is it friendly? <laughs> What's the ghostly figure look like? Uh, it looks like a dragonborn in full plate mail with a sword and shield. Moving? Doing anything? No, it's just standing there. So far, it's just standing there. But after a few seconds, it unsheathes its sword. Okay. And this is from where the... Well, you don't look friendly. Is it in the, from the corner of the room? No, it's from the center. Except the front. I mean, that could be the front corner of the room. Because it could be where the conjuration point comes from. Well, that's interesting because that's not where the conjuration points were. Yeah, they're each corner. It's one door. Where's the other door? It's gone! Oh, there it is. And we came in from this one? Yes. So he unsheaths his shit. I'll take my arms out of the, the thing and immediately says something in Draconic. I still have comprehension. The language is going. So an hour. Yeah, was it like 10 minutes or an mm -hmm. hour? It's an hour? It's an hour to comprehend yeah. languages. A whole hour? I haven't stopped concentrating on it. Well, whatever it'll do. Oh, it's just a duration hour. I don't even have to concentrate on it. Duration an hour. Yeah. Uh, in Draconic, it says you have five minutes to figure out how to tie this room together. With a little bit of drapes. <laughs> a little more lighting. <laughs> I'm gonna start the timer. Okay, got, hey, this guy said we have five minutes to, to figure out how to tie this room together. Get that phone before you So, we could draw a ladder trick now. Yeah. Let's as well. Quickly do the ladder between the sarcophagi. Mm -hmm. Want to do the ladder with the sarcophagi with the. Want to do one in one bandage? Or want to do all clear? Or all tan? Let's go all tan. Okay. We'll do use the <gasps> all tan bandages and tie up the bones into a ladder form and drop one end in one and so, one in the other. Yep. Dropping one end of one and one end of the other. Mm hmm. All right. You drop them in, and immediately the scorpions start to climb up, and they're actually allowed to climb out. Nice. Are they gonna fight in the middle of the bridge? I want to see this. <laughs> the beetles start to climb up, yes. <laughs> and they start to climb. Who's taking out as well? <laughs> Who's gonna win? Scorpions or beetles? Scorpions. All right. <laughs> and they don't fight at all. Disappointing. They're just switching places. Hmm. Did okay. we win? <laughs> no, the door hasn't opened. The guy's still standing there, so now we have it win. <laughs> oh. Take it. Are all the bones wrapped? Congratulations. Nothing. Shook. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we came up with it earlier, but it took a while. 
It's a test to get it done. <laughs> yeah. We, we solved it, but then we weren't sure, right? So, uh, I don't know. It's too easy. <laughs> it does, that seems like a trick. Okay. Hey, we did it. Yay. <laughs> I was, out of here. I, was like, I was like, oh wow, they figured it out. I was like, I was like, oh, they're second guessing themselves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, go to the next door. Oh, I guess. Pick up the first crate I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go in. You go into this room, and in this room, you see a magical chest. Don't touch it. Oh no! You're, that, that, that's only ten minutes. That's gone. That's gone. That's just a chest for him now. Yeah, that's that's gone. We're well past. Yeah. Sorry. You see a chest, which we figure is probably magical. Yeah. Don't touch it. <laughs> On the left side, this is like a twenty by twenty room, fairly small. Uh -huh. Then you see a pedestal that has a that has a tiny little ring with. Um, uh, on top of a pillow. Ooh. And then see. on the wall. Is it a wedding ring? On the wall, you see a painting of uh, of Tiamat. <laughs> I'm taking Tiamat. You don't know what Tiamat is. Do you? Can I roll a little religion check? <laughs> Would you? From sure. the world that you come from, would you know who Tiamat is? Tiamat comes from my world. Mm -hmm. Chance. Alright. Come on, baby. God damn it. It's still a 16. That's well, pretty good. Want another nat 20? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, like, that's what you see. A painting of that. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... So with the 16, do I know? What DM it is? I believe your TM and their TM is different. Isn't they? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so now. The Assyrian TM would be a large, monstrous like creature, but it would not. Does appear it say. Does well, it, it could be dragon. -like. Does the painting say Tiamat anywhere? In, no, but. Got, like, a they're, from, they're from the Forgotten Realm, so they they immediately I, see. Actually, his TM would be somewhat similar. It wouldn't be the five headed dragon, no, but it, it would, would be dragon like be, yeah, and, and monstrous in a way. Kind of like the Echoes version. The top heads of you, that are more similar to the TMS. Would that you I roll them? 16. Possibility? But we so I see it. similarity, but I'd be like. It's just another. It's, it's not quite as de depicted as how you remember. Yeah. But we would be able to tell you, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's TMS. And I'd okay. be like, looks a little different than <laughs> I know. So, team at Pitcher. On a wall, mm -hmm. we have the chest. Mm -hmm. Is it in a ring? In, it, in the ring. Is it near? Are they all near each other? Like within five feet of each other? Uh, ten foot gap. Well, between each. A ten foot gap between chest and ring, and ten foot gap between the picture as well, and the objects. Is the ring gold? No. Can I do? What is it? Detect magic. You got. You gonna get that close to it? To look at the ring? Hmm? I mean, I'll get where I can like this close, I guess. Look, let me an investigation check. Small object. Yep. <laughs> Noise. Uh, twenty-four. It looks to be. Do I get an item finally? I mean, there's a good chance in this chest you get something out of it would be good. I just kind of took the javelin and was like, I use this! Yeah. <laughs> you get the javelin, he's got the circlet. Yeah. I've got infinite water. <laughs> Which is great. You've made more friends than I was about to say, it's great at making friends. I'm not gonna lie. You've opened doors for us. A brass ring. A brass ring. Okay. Looking for words around it? Around, you know, look at the ring, around the pillow, do I see any words? 
Okay. Tell me when you're done with your investigation. I'm I'm done with the investigation of this ring at the moment. I'm about to go look at the picture, but you can go ahead. You uh, can cast okay. your I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do Did everyone right. step in or some of you still no, outside? I'm still outside. I'm at the door. I I haven't crossed this. I room. cast detect so magic. You I fully in. stepped in. I I walk in at this point to cast detect magic. Okay. Uh, then, you'll see that the chest is magical, the ring is magical, and the painting is magical. Whatever colors they are, I speak them to him because that one looks this color. Yeah. That one looks that color. I figure I the probably don't know. The painting will be green. That's illusion. Okay. And painting's an illusion. I don't like where this is going. And as for the chest and the ring, are they enchanted? They are colorless. But he knows they're magical. You can tell you can they give off a magical aura, but there's no indication, indication of, of color. Yeah. Uh oh. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, I Mr. Have, I have no idea. To be honest with you, because even if they were like just a generic enchantment, they'd still be something like a Abjuration or, or something. I say. Oh, sorry. The the ring is purple. Enchantment. The so ring is enchanted. The the chest is magical in nature, but gives off no aura. Or it could be that what's inside is magical. In nature. Is the chest dreaming? <laughs> and we yet not know what it is until we <laughs> open it. If there's anything magical inside, you wouldn't be able to see it through the chest. Well, if it was bleeding out, if it was that powerful. <laughs> okay, so the ring is enchanted. The the painting is an illusion. The painting is an illusion. It yeah. has illusions on it. You want to poke the painting? I'll go investigate the painting. I investigate the painting. How big is the painting? It's as big as a door. Mm. As soon as you get within five feet of the painting, all five heads slowly Sorry. start to come out. Hey, I see the illusion the part now. <laughs> okay. I'll look at it. <laughs> they they keep coming or like they're just slowly moving around, just kind of they're snake like. Okay. Is there a lock on this chest? <clears throat> Are you I gonna will, try and open it? I will cross the threshold of the door and walk towards the chest and then. Back to see the door the shuts yes, and course. locks. Yep, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I always stay outside because I know the door will close. <laughs> uh, choose but one. Oh, one must be chosen. Choose wisely. Fuck. Or your or your ass will be frozen. Say that so I know which one to choose. <laughs> as soon as that, as soon as you say that. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw as the white head spits at you. I didn't... Your ass is literally <laughs> going to be frozen, man. <laughs> That's a... 14. Uh, so you fail. You will take four cold damage. It froze you. <laughs> fucker. Right to the ass. As it just... <laughs> spits a little cold air your way. Uh, I'll move back. Do you speak to us? Uh, do Hold you on. hear voices? I'm, I'm moving back. Us, I guess is the better question. I'm moving away. Um, <clears throat> I'll say that low. To the painting. Questions? What does the ring do? Things. And the choices are between the ring and the chest, or the ring, chest, and the painting. A choice must be made. One must be chosen. Well, guys. 50-50 chance now. I am not taking that painting with me. I kind of like the painting. I'm not going to lie. Hey, but is the dragon you big him? enough to put a ring on it? <laughs> no, they're like pretty big. Okay. Just make sure how big, because you never said how big nah, the actual painting pretty big. is. Is it from floor oh, to it's, ceiling? It's, it's like a... It's like a like a giant portrait. Yeah, it's a giant portrait. Like like 20 feet by 15 feet. Okay. All right. 
that's important. And it in the picture, it's just Tiamat. No background. Uh, you see Tiamat. You see a hoard of gold underneath her, and various little objects strewn throughout the gold. And it looks like she's in a cavern layer of sorts. Can I look through the hoard? See if I see anything that is similar to the ring? <coughs> so you're gonna go back and get close to the picture again? Yeah, but I'm not saying anything this time. You're just looking around? I'm just looking. <laughs> it's about to get some trouble. <laughs> I'm, I'm just looking at, at what's here. I want to know what else this picture looks like. <clears throat> you look through and you see uh, a scimitar. There's a, a helmet. Um, looks like a... Um, a case that's that's open with uh, some jewelry. Three three sets of jewelry. What kind of jewelry? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like earrings, maybe. Something a lady would wear. You're a lady. I'm not. Uh... Then, I mean, there's gold, copper, silver, platinum. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, uh... The, the last thing you'll see is a very elaborate bastard sword. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hone in on the, the chest with some jewelry. I'll, I'll look at that. What do you guys... I'll, I'll say what I've, I've, I've found. Like, have you... And then I'll ask, have you guys seen anything... Found anything else in this room? I'm still... I haven't found anything. I'm, I still kind of want to open the chest, but if that is going to make it a choice, I don't want to. Can we open the chest? That would trigger that trap Without for sure. So that is your choosing. choice? Yeah, see? No. That's why I haven't touched it. <laughs> I must make a choice. Don't talk to it. It's going to get us. And I'll move away from the picture quickly before well, I'm I say I'm not talking it. shit to it. No, no, just don't <laughs> talk to it because it keeps trying to ask you if you made a choice. No choices have been made. I, 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 I have I a question. Do we each get a choice or is it supposed to be a choice as a group? One choice must be made. A choice must be made. So I said we chose the painting. It might be a portal or something else. You said this painting's huge? Yeah, it's big <clears throat> enough for us to walk through. Does the ring look like it could fit in that jewelry box? On the painting? Yeah. Tell me how to grab the ring, guys. And then try to put it in the... I don't think the choice is in it still 10 feet away from the pitch. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. Does the, in the chest, is like the jewelry laid out, in, or is it all kind of clumped together? It's a small box. Yeah, yeah. But like, if it's open, it looks like it's laid out, or is it just clumped inside? Uh, it's just kind of <clears throat> clumped inside. Okay, no matter. You thought the ring belonged there? Yeah. It's the key or something. Um, I said the painting. Here what if I'm like, I choose choices. you, Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> if you say the wrong thing, you get shot with something. That Did you actually say that? You. No, I was... Or are you talking to them? Talking to them, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom while y'all talk about this. This is a hard choice. Can you bring me a Coke on my bed? Can I not say I did? I mean, you could. You could just walk over there. I'd be a little crazy. sad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. What's the ring, the pillow, 
No, I think it's just the ring and the chest that are the choices. The ring, chest, or painting. The painting is definitely a choice. Mm -hmm. Whether or not it's a good choice, I have no idea. Because all we know about it is it has illusion magic on it. Mm -hmm. And it shot magic at you. If, uh, if it was an illusion, it wouldn't be able to make you did, damage. Did damage. Which is why I said it Illusions shot the spell damage. off. Illusion, there are illusionary spells that will do damage too. They can make you believe that they do that and they'll take, take damage. So, um, do you, <laughs> you have to spell magic? Not stock. Because <laughs> that would be funny. Fuck you. <laughs> Turn off for a minute. Because <clears throat> I already thought about that. Well, the one to go uh, ring. Huh? You want to choose the ring? <laughs> I mean, the one ring. It's in here. You must choose one. Yeah, but it's one ring or one chest. I really kind of just want to say those words to the dragon. To be honest, unless unless the brass has something <clears throat> to do with it as well. What's the um, it's... chest made out of? <clears throat> it's wooden and has iron clamps going around. I'm honestly kind of stumped on this one. I don't know where whatever the question is asked. <clears throat> and my throat is closing up apparently. <clears throat> Jamie, are you wearing cologne again? Oh, it's just semen. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> one time I, I went over to Adam's house to play D&D and I was burping my kid and my kid puked on my hoodie. So I put some Axe body spray on it because I, oh. I didn't have anything else to change into. And I went to work. But when I went to his house to play D&D, the Axe body spray was still there, and he's allergic to perfumes and colognes. So the whole time we're playing D&D, this man's, like, hacking, and he's like, man, he's like, he's like, someone's just messing me up. And, like, two hours into play, I was like, oh, my bad, man. <laughs> and I go and take it out, and he's like, he's like, man, I feel a lot better now. I was like, I completely forgot that I put Axe body spray on my hoodie to cover the puke smell from my child. This man's just suffering for two hours. So, so we want to choose what? The ring or the chest? I said we just flip a coin at this point. I still want to say that to the painting. Go ahead and say what you're going to say to the painting then, man. I'm not going to stop. I'll back away. You can say what you want. I'm still at setting the chest. I'm still 10 feet away. So you go and die. All right, we, we all cool <laughs> with this decision then. We're all down for this decision. <laughs> I don't even know what's about to happen. Okay. Go ahead. Is... Yeah, go for it. Alright, I just dead eyed the dragon and I'm like, I choose you. Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon theme song starts playing in the background. <laughs> He's a local dragon. He's gonna be that bar that gets pegged by a dragon. Hey, <laughs> Charizard, I choose you. Going for a five headed Gyarados right now. Who wants a pet that bad? It's more of a Dratini. Yeah, bro. Or Dragonair? It's more of a Dragonair. Dragonite? Yeah, it's more of a Dragonair with five heads. I mean, Dragonite is pretty fucked up. That's what he said to the painting. He yeah, chose the painting. I, I, I I chose the painting. He chooses the painting. No, I, I chose the dragon. Which is the painting? Yeah, chose the dragon. Okay, he chose the dragon. <laughs> a choice has been made. And all the heads go back in. And I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> you always trigger the nope. traps. <laughs> DC is 15. You always trigger the traps. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you're all on board with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That is... By the way, I did this last time too. Nineteen. I just went. I just went. You'll take half damage. Um. So, if you failed, eighteen fire damage. If you passed, I take nine. Yeah. You take nine. What a um, I haven't chosen. And uh, as, as the very last 
head that is the red spits out a small fireball into the room. Small? I don't think that was a small fireball. That hurt. Were you in front of the ring? No, I was still standing in front I of the ring. I mean, place. I moved away when you said... I moved back okay. away from all that because I've been spit on before. The chest disappears. Mm -hmm. The ring disappears. Mm -hmm. And the illusional glamour that is on the painting slowly starts to fade away. And there's another door. Okay. Well. Ow! First of all. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, I found another door. As you did, Mr. Frosty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you thought out now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who had to take magic cast? I did. Uh, as the illusion goes away, you'll see... Indraconic <laughs> words. <laughs> Always check everything. <laughs> Wrong choice, motherfucker. <laughs> well, I don't know what it says. I don't know what it says. It looks like I can't see it. <laughs> I don't have to take magic on. <laughs> Are they just staying there? <clears throat> yes. Is it, you got is a pen and actually, paper? Is it actually visible? Uh, yeah, to him. It says it to is. Him. I mean, you yeah, got a pen and paper? I got some pen and paper that I found you. Yeah. I write it down. Uh, you, you copy, copy it. it. Yeah. You don't write it down. <laughs> okay, you know, know what I mean? Go across it. What does it say? It says, Strength needed to be tested. If you have survived, go and claim your prize. Oh, okay. So, so we no didn't die. No I matter chose what. <laughs> no matter what we chose, we're gonna get. It's gonna fun. burn the fuck out of us. Okay. Um. I mean, the door might have not been there. I'm at, do we need to heal any? I'm doing. I in? just took the fireball damage. That was all the damage yeah. I took. All right. Well. Okay. You the same health as me. Okay. Don't go on in. I'll go through the door. Or touch the door first. See if it talks. Yeah, it's gonna touch on the no no square. <laughs> open the door. You open the door, and there's a, a small ten foot by ten foot room with a small chest in the back corner. It's mm. not filled with gold everywhere. Hey, tech magic guy, look in this room real quick. I I scan the room. Nothing. Uh, so it's just a chest. It says claim our prize if we're strong enough. Okay. I okay. Hey. Oh, is there about, a lot of the, the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> same, same time, yeah. we're both things. Just... No. <laughs> okay. And then I look in, see if there's any magic in the face. Congratulations on passing these trials. I hope these items will help you further your adventure in my land. Congratulations. Fuck off. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it never answers back, man. That's why I said fuck off. <laughs> okay. Um, what's you guys in already know his name. Yeah, I know. It said you told us, and it said on his yeah. book last on the last dungeon. I know. <laughs> so why you ask its name again? Because if it actually answers back, it's actually a person talking to us. It's just a recorded message. I'm this checking to see message. if it's not. If it's not, and it's it actually, we're being watched. Say that like watched. five seconds after despair. <laughs> if we're being squid gamed right now, I want to know if the announcer talks to me. Squid gamed. <laughs> um, the brass <clears throat> ring. Oh, the brass that ring. That was on the pillow was yeah. actually in the chest. Um, ha, bitches, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Uh... There are eight platinum pieces. Jesus. Platinum? Okay. Holy shit. Uh, 43 gold pieces. 42 silver pieces. Another tiny little ring. Okay. What is that one made out of? 
this one is uh, made out of platinum and uh, has a dragon going through the entire band. Any <laughs> magical auras? <Yep. laughs> no, any magical auras resonating from that ring since you can still see it? Uh, yes, both rings are magical. Cool. Colors just the enchantment color, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay. So, any way of figuring out what they do? Hold them for a while. Hold the rest of them. Unless we, have, we want to cast the Identify spell. But we still I mean, haven't found any gems. We haven't found any pearls for yeah, me to just you, go. You want to you wanna do that? We can. We need the pearl. Yeah, no, we don't have a pearl. Oh. We for the full hour? Yeah. Well, well, you yeah, can we hold just... it for an hour. Well, yeah, you'll that's be attuned what, to it. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, you can choose not to attend. You can just hold it for an hour. Hold it for an hour. Does. The only thing you're not going to pick up on is usually if it's cursed or not. Yeah. So. Cool. That's all that's in here. Mm -hmm. Doors are open. Oh. All doors are open. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> we'll sleeve and then we'll do our short rest up above. Yeah. Sounds or just good. outside the door, the first door. Yeah, because the alarm should still be active out there. Yeah, I haven't heard any ringing. I haven't heard any ringing. Have I? <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> I haven't heard any ringing. Have I? Wait, wait. Okay. okay. We'll go back out. I run out there. Look around. Where's my boy? Yeah, where's my boy? <laughs> oh, as soon as you poke your head out, he's he's laying down next next to the door. Hey, you're you my boy, stand. Blue. You're my boy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'll mimic the sound he just made. <laughs> okay. Well, do you, do you want do you want to play with the other, or do you want to figure out what this ring does? Because I can let you two figure out what these things do. I did the last magical thing. So you... Sure. I shall meditate with the bronze ring. Brass. You could brass. You could have the dragon one since you are fond of that shit. I mean, dragon's cool, dude. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I shall meditate with it. The brass ring will gain, give you a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls uh, uh, with unarmed strikes while wearing and attuned to this ring. <laughs> that's like fucking made for me, bro. <laughs> well, I guess that's yours. <laughs> no, I think you should totally have that. It uh, definitely yeah. fits your character. It... You punch things all the no, time. Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I mean, mainly just like trees and shit. Yeah, but yeah, every now and then crates. Yeah, but, but you need that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What does the dude. dragon ring do? Uh, Melt well, your face off. <laughs> while attuned to this uh, platinum dragon ring, uh, it has two charges per day. You can expend one charge to cast. Uh, any first level spell no, yeah. as a twin spell. Ooh. Yeah, this is totally you. Yeah. Or you can expend another charge to cast any second level spell or lower as a subtle spell. Which means you don't have to. No somatic, no, no, no it's component. It's just silent. It's ah, just, you can just you do can be it. sneaky about it. Also, can't be countered. Because they're not knowing that you're casting a spell. That's crazy. and that's if you use both charges at the same time. No, no, one or oh, the other. Okay, it's one, one could be it's twin, and one could be a subtle. sorcery points to either do a twin spell or a subtle spell. Or you can spend both points at the same time, and uh, you can maximize the damage of one spell. Just, yeah, just get an auto. Automatic this one crit. must be used before attack or damage rolls. So you gotta say, I'll use both charges to roll to hit, and if it, it hits, it doesn't. This is this is different. Okay. I don't, that's you, bud. Yeah, that's, that's all, all you. Yeah. So uh, that would be fucking insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're good. That's you. There's no actual magical item. Yeah. These these aren't actual magical items in the book, are they? They just made up items. Yours is in the book. Uh, it's not in the D and D book. It's it's actually in the um, uh, Horde of the Dragon Queen book. 
So it's plus one to attack and plus one to... Yeah, it's basically your magic weapons. Okay, so the second charge, you said it has a... Twin, twin spell, subtle... Well, you have one charge. You spell that. Subtle, S-U-B-T-L-E. Now, you, now, like for the twin spell one, you do have to follow the same... Uh, yeah, same, 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 you, well, you have to follow the same conditions as the twin spell. Uh, I'm spending dice to heal myself. Up. What is that? Basically, you can cast any spell that targets a single creature alone, and you can you can spend one of those points to have it the exact same spell target another creature. Okay, so but they can target the same. No, it can't target the same creature. Okay. Has to target a different creature, and it has to be a spell that only targets one creature. Okay. Um, and it can't be one of the, like a self spell. How? So you can't be like shield of faith, shield of faith. That'd be pretty tough. Though. How many hit dice do we have now? Five, five total hit dice. And I spent two of my d10s. And our hit dice are what again? Well, you have d8s. Okay. It's, it's how you get your hit points. And you get half. When you take a long rest, you get half rounded up. No, rounded down. Rounded down. Yeah, rounded down. I don't say rounded up. It's always rounded down unless otherwise said, and there's very few things that say round up. So you roll two d8s and then add your con right. to each each die. Well, are you using hit dice? Yeah. So yeah, so you roll a d8 and add your con to it. And however many hit dice you do, you just do the same thing over. Okay. Damn, there's no way of good. modifying this. Heat. It's called the insignia, um, or insignet ring. I mean, that's um, basically. Yeah, I use. Uh, okay, I can't so remember exactly what it's called. Two. Look for Insignet Ring. Okay. It will, although it might not be in there because I think, I don't think we're, I don't think, Aaron's not a part of the group. So all the magic items he bought aren't on there anymore. Because I remember he bought all the magic items. So yeah, it might not be there. And with the two charges, I can use that on any spell? The maximize. Two charges does maximize. One charge will do a subtle spell yeah. or twin spell. Uh -huh. Yeah, two total charges on the thing. And it's one of those things where it happens like in that instant. Yeah. So you couldn't be like, Spirit Guardians, maximize it so it always does max damage. It's just the the one time. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is it max? It's not empowered spell. It's just maximized. It's something I just made up. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So it's totally different. Completely different. Okay, so what are we doing now? What are you doing now? Well, I mean, we've gone here now. We found this thing. You've had your short rest. You figured out what the items did. We want to start making our way back. And then take a rest, and it's almost midnight. Yeah. Yeah, we start heading back to the towards the village. Is that a seven death song? Well, it's fun. Down. It's probably something old because for some reason I have like 80 songs in my head all the time. Sound like Seven Dust. Sound like the song Whatever You Say. What do you guys want to do? You guys just want to sit around and meddle over this for a little bit and contemplate what to do? No, I think we'll head back to town. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to move to where we can get camp. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, we'll just keep traveling and uh Of course this actually might not be a bad place to camp. It's kinda hidden and everything. Yeah. There's nothing else in there, nothing that will really harm us. 
We can leave the door. The owlbear would have to stay out. Think, yeah, that would be annoying. Mm -hmm. We could truck. Sure, owlbear now apparently. So if you wanna, if you if you wanna stay out here with the owlbear, I guess it's more on the. How far away was that cave? That cave? Yeah, because I don't it's, know how we went. It's about four hours away. Well, I mean, we could just walk back to it. We could. I mean, the cave seems probably, uh, other than sitting in there, the safest bet. I'm pretty sure I could get right back to it. I'd say we could just go back to there. Okay. Especially Do that, considering mm -hmm. if this was the cave that they were talking about. Which I don't think it was. There's I don't no think way this was a cave. There's no way it was. Mm -mm. No. Was this the red dot though? This oh, it had to be the red, red dot. dot. It was the red dot. Yeah, that that map. Check the map. Since we beat one, and the other one appeared, maybe another one has appeared since. Oh, okay. But I'll it didn't. The red map. It popped up when we got near it. Yeah. But it popped okay. up whenever it might we be the entered next. the zone. Yeah, I'll pull up the map and look at the map again. Nothing so far. Okay. So we have to unlock the place first before. Give them a general idea of where it's at. Damn video game logic. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll start heading towards the town, and if we make it to the cave before we get to the town, so we'll, we'll take a rest on the cave again, I guess. Oh, yeah, the town is yeah. two days away. Yeah. Or it's, uh, because I still want to go towards the uh, foot of the mountains just to go visit the blacksmith. Actually, it takes us a full day to move through one tile of forest. Which we're in forest. We can do a full full day's travel since we've rested right now. Before we take exhaustion, right? What? A short rest? Short rest doesn't count. Yeah, we do longer. Oh. Short rest just lets us get some of our shit back. Yeah, you, you, guys, you guys spent most of the day getting seating? here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're heading out? Yeah. Ass is in there. Yeah, that chair will do it to you. Uh, uh, they always yeah, that when I get done with them. So, yeah, we'll just head on. We'll get down. Exactly. Our house will never That's hurt them. It's impossible. <laughs> I always finish power bottom, right? Lucky that. <laughs> Damn right I'm a power bottom. <laughs> yeah, we'll start heading towards the cave first. We'll take our long rest there. I'll take third watch with yep. the bear if we make it to the, to the cave before anything hits us. Oh, man. So you're going to spend a whole... Four hours to the cave. It was only half a day to get to where we were at the dot. Now, from from hex to hex is one a full day. Exploring inside that hex still counts as it. Okay. It's not like going from a bottom part of a hex to another bottom part of a hex is different. I, I count it as all one day. Well, I, I don't know. I thought you didn't specify we took a whole day to get to that dot. So then we gotta take a long rest here yeah, before we go travel again. What time of day you guys is it? We out most of the day. Yeah. Getting to the red dime, doing stuff. stuff. So then we so, just take a full day. We'll just take a long rest here since it's. Because you guys, you guys traveled with the ranger part of the way and then without the ranger and the other half. Exploring in the cave. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a long rest here before we head out. So we'll take a long rest. Uh, before going to bed or doing our thing, I will still go lose my last spell slot for good berries for the next day. Oh, oh God, what and I can re up the alarm on top of the, mm -hmm. the thing. Do you, I'm gonna go down below because there's no way we're gonna get attacked by any, I mean, shit has to come to us. Right. I'm small enough, I'm gonna hide inside the fucking. Hide in the owlbear? Owlbear. <laughs> Open up? Yep. <laughs> Snuggle in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming you made the alarm audible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. But I will take third watch. Wait a minute. You're going down. They're going down. So I'm the only you two one are down. Up. You and the owlbear yeah, are I'm up. up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Make it bumpy. Man. Which, I'll, I'll do my watch up top. Mm -hmm. but I'm going to rest down below. Yeah, no, that's fine. I got to spend some bonding time with the owlbear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> Out of 
three, four watches. I think they just don't really, just three really. There's long only watches. three of us, so it'd be three three-hour watches instead of four two-hour watches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll guess for full rest. Because oh, well, I don't know, it's six hours to get a full rest. I think. I mean, if we did it that way, you, are you still holding the stone? Nine hours? No, yeah, it's normal parking. Somebody sent a message. So I could have heard it. Are you holding the sending stone then? No, I'm not holding it. It's just on me. Well, well, if someone, that's what I mean. Yeah, like, if someone talks yeah. into it, holding you can hear it. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think it has a tracking device on it. So. Mm -mm. Not unless it's a different sending stone than I know of. Yeah. But if it's a normal sending stone... What here has been normal so far? Which is true. Uh, I don't know, but I don't have I don't have any reason to believe it's not normal. Which one? So what's the outcome? We're fucked. <laughs> Roll me. Wait, you, which watch did you take? First. first. He's always the first. First? Okay. I'm going to get rolled in. Uh, during your watch... You're just kind of looking around, trying to make sure everything's copacetic and everything. And suddenly you hear in your head, Who are you? In your head, not from the stone. <laughs> I want you to know, I'm coming for you. It's like, yes, daddy. <laughs> Just in my head, or can I tell it's from the stone? It's from the stone, in your head. The stone's now in your head. And blood. Hey, no. <laughs> I will actually hey, no. not respond. I have nothing to say to it. <laughs> what? I'm scared. I have no reason to reply. Why would I give it any information? Mm -hmm. I just learned that it knows that we're not that guy. You tell him shit. And I'm not I'm not that fucking crazy. Uh all the watches rest of the watches go uninterrupted. Okay. Uninterrupted. And cool. we'll call it right there. I will let you guys know before the end yeah, before we head out. Is it a twin? That the I heard got a message through the screen. It's a two. So, and, but I did not respond, and nor, I, yeah. and nor will I until I have some reason to. Or unless I got talks massive shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what you're saying is there's a chance. Oh, there's always a chance. There's always a chance. <laughs> Plus, I might forget it next week. Hey, look at that. A session with no combat. It is a little combat. I mean... He got his ass frozen and then smacked in the face with fireball. Or oh, we both got smacked in the face with fireball. I like to believe we had com combat of the mind. Yeah. 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 You guys said you wanted puzzles. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And I made a friend, so <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I'm I was just, jealous. I'm just. I was jealous. I'm... <laughs> Oh, absolutely. But. <laughs> <laughs> like, first the dude with the raptor comes up. I'm like, that's fucking awesome. And then yep. he gets the fucking owlbear. I came up on my watch. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, but we're kid. I'm a bird, man. <laughs> and then I get in there, tapping, I solve the first puzzle. He's tapping into his druid. Yeah, you got that, like, and, right off the bat. Yeah. Just to... And Sherlock. Gets all pissy with me. <laughs> <laughs> then I got a cool ring, so I'm chill. Cool. Yeah, say so you got a ring, you got a good one, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good ring. Basically, class features of a whole nother class. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs>